Now, <laughs> this is very. I, I noticed very quickly that I was muted. Okay, easy clap. I noticed that very quickly. Um, Tomatoes Rodriguez, thank you for the two months. While well, even in the in the waiting screen, Raccoon, thank you for the nine months. And what to say? Thank you for the five. Uh, someone was. I think someone was uh scammed on the Pepe D. All right, let me refund you real quick because we don't have it in the. In the starting soon, and I think in the full cam thingy, you can't uh, re redeem it. I'll refund you your points, and you can do it again in a, in a few seconds. I, I have refunded you with the points. Uh, okay, good morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, today, we have a couple of things planned that we were trying to do throughout the last week that we were not able to do yet. Um. We're going to do the warm-up. We're going to look at some new cards. There's nothing too crazy, I think. But regardless, we're going to do that. Then we have two things that I'm really hyped about. The first thing is the, uh, the Smart Guard package arrived with the Maze of Memory thingy. So we have a box of that. Uh, it's crazy. Thank you so much for the 10 months. 10 months is a long time. Thank you for the support. As well as, a little late, but I told you about this yesterday, the, uh, the Trap Tricks thingy also arrived, which uh, since I already have three uh, Trap Tricks structures for myself, uh, we're going to think about the, the best possible way to give all these away to viewers, because I don't need them. I don't need them, so I think this is eight structures. Let me see. We'll unbox it and then we'll see. Uh, they are English, I think. Yeah, it's an English box of uh, of the trap trick structures, and uh, I don't need them, so I'm gonna give them away. The only the only thing I don't know yet is if I want to do like eight. Uh, if I want to do eight separate packages for it. Yo. <laughs> Come on, napkin. You're making me lose my, my train of thought. Hey, thank you so much. What do you mean, 29 sub gifts? What do you mean, 29 sub gifts, dude? The napping. <laughs> the napping. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, hold up. Wait, that means. Yo, we've hit the sub goal. I'm not prepared for that. Hold up. <laughs> we need an early Pepe D. Hold okay, I need to switch scenes real quick. So that we can Pepe D, because I, I don't have it in this scene. Let me... Okay. Alright, hey. Here we go. Wait, this is super low. Something... Isn't it super low? Or is it fine? Well, you can't answer me right now because you can only you are only allowed to post Pepe D's. I baited you. You were not allowed to answer me. Mods. Mods. <laughs> 10k turnips also. Thank you for the five months. Wait, I I did I was not prepared for this. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> okay yo thank you again thank you so much i appreciate that thank you okay what's going on <laughs> what did i do Tell me what I did to deserve this, and I will try to do it again. Because Tomatos Rodriguez, thank you for the five gift subs. What did I do? <laughs> okay. You don't want them? No, I, I do. I do. I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm asking what the specific reason is for it today. <laughs> okay, hold up. 
Okay, let me leave. Let me leave uh, full screen, and then uh, we can continue with the the warm up. And whoever whoever it was, whoever it was that uh, that tried to redeem the remix, now you can. Because now we are not in full screen anymore. Uh, anonymous gifter with a tier one sub to Ronin Toden. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dami Wo, thank you for the five months. I'll answer your question after the Pepe D train has ended. Give me a, give me like thirty seconds, then I'll answer you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your thoughts on the new cards for branded despia and synchros and new virtuoso i don't know exactly what cards you're talking about i haven't seen those i think i don't know exactly what you mean okay all right, thank you again. Thank you so much. Uh, Dami Wo was asking, what's the best current sprite variant in your opinion? I really have changed my mind a little bit on that because I thought in the beginning it was it could be something like Life Twin Sprite, but I don't love that that much. <laughs> okay, Anonymous Gifter with the, with the tier one sub to Flip Flop Frog. <laughs> Do we have a sub for every, uh, every frog name now? <laughs> we can never... We can never let the sub to Ronin Toden uh, end. It cannot happen. Anyways, uh, I like uh, I like pure sprite right now. I honestly do. Or like pure sprite in the sense that you either you still play the nimbles, you play the sprites, you play a lot of non-engine, and then you play a small package that contributes to your end board. It can be it can be Toad uh, with swap frogs. It could be some Melfies. I don't know what else there is really. Maybe you play Iperia and Capshell to just draw hand traps. I don't know exactly what it, what the best approach is, but I um I I like pure sprite basically. Um I I I haven't tested all the versions yet, but I do want to. Uh but I I I like I like the approach of pure sprite. Like being able to being able to do like uh to fit a lot of non-engine and have solid sprite combos is just the best thing. I also like runic sprites still, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Chat, we still need to do the warm-up. We cannot forget. Warm-up, then uh, pack opening. I want to get those packs open. Please, let me get through the warm-up. <laughs> I'll tell you what we do for the rest of the day then later. Uh, thank you for the gift up to Frog the Jam. <laughs> Not a frog, though. Technically not a frog. Uh, this is like Sword of Lightning. It's Sword of Lightning or something. It's something Lightning Sword. Lightning Blade? Lightning Blade. Yep. Alright, this is just one color so far. Okay, I don't know what that is. Oh, I might know what that is, but no, I don't. Abyss Actor. Twinkle Little Star. Uh, that is Blue Thunder. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is a Bujin, but uh, it's a weird one. I don't know which one that is. Is It's not... It might be Hiruko. But there's so many! Hiruko? Yeah. There's so many Bujins. What the hell? Uh, wait, I know this. Do I know this? I don't know this. Zombie Necronize. That's a that's Red Eye Zombie Dragon on the cart. That's the same cart. That's never happened. The chance for that is so low. The same. That's the first time that happened. That's the first time that's never happened before. We've had the first, we've had the same card in the same run, but the same card after the immediately after? What the hell? That's a glitch in the freaking matrix, dude. That's intervention.
Uh, oh god, it's like doll something. Yeah, the chance is like one in ele in a, like roughly of eleven thousand cards. That's crazy. Uh, Dragoonity. I I think that's an extra deck monster. Gay Bulg? Yeah. I guessed that. I didn't know that. <laughs> I just clicked the first one I saw. <laughs> but sometimes it do work out like that. Okay, that's the Performa Pal Elephant, but I don't know what it's called. Elephammer? Nope, not Elephammer. How is there multiple elephants? Well, technically it's a mammoth, I guess. Now you're going to tell me it's not the same thing, but, you know, it's the same thing. Unsho Unchained uh, Abomination? Yeah. Some scroll, right? But I don't know which one. I'm gonna skip it. Thank god I did not try the scrolls. Curse of Dragon. Getting ancient gear vibes. Losing the ancient gear vibes. Uh, this is... What the hell is that? I don't know. Crossbreed. Look at that. Uh, this is token festival feast of no wait token Sunday yeah. Uh, I I think it's DDD. Nope. Uh, I don't know what that is. You say Witchcrafter, and I say there's too many Witchcrafter cards. Okay, you are right, but I do not know which one that was. Uh, this is Skilled, skilled MBT Magician. This, I think, is Rika Princess? Nope. I thought it was Rika, but well, it is Rika. Hey, not bad. We were in the in the right ballpark. Cosmo Queen, right? Cosmo Queen, yeah. Uh it's an old vanilla. It's like the it's fighter something. Battle warrior. Mm, uh, no idea. Mm -mm. Iron draw. Okay, that's a new. That's a rank up, if I've ever seen one. What's it called? I need help. Revolution force. Revolution force. Okay, thank you. Uh, this could be a fire fist. Yeah, it's probably boar. That's a boar, right? It's not a boar? Really? Oh, it's a fire fist trap. Uh, no, it's, that's the spell, Yoko. Ah, unfortunate. We've been baited. Uh, is that a cyber dragon? Which one is that? Zeger? Is that Zeger? Yeah. That's the link, right? Is that another rank up? Miss me with the rank ups. It's another rank up. That's the Phantom Knight one, though. Rank up launch? No. Oh. Look at how many rank ups there are. It is Phantom Knights. Oh, there's multiple Phantom Knight rank ups, even. <laughs> Someone stopped them. Someone stopped them from making more rank ups. Someone even go back in time and stop them from making some of the ones they already did. Please. Uh, this looks very familiar. I almost don't want to zoom. But I have to. I don't know what it is. Oh, this looks so familiar. It's not Stardust, though. 
Is it assault mode? It might be Stardust assault mode. Yeah. Uh, this is upside down. Why is it upside down? Oh. This is like one of those Bitron. Is it Bitron? I don't think it's Bitron. No. Arm. Oh, no. I was so close. <laughs> That's not fair. Uh, this is a Machina card, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know which one. Is that Citadel? Yeah. This might be Ancient Gear Fortress? Yeah. Oh, I think this is an old as ritual spell. Yeah. What do you summon with that? What do you summon with that? Dark Master Zork, right? Yeah. That's evenly matched. Yeah. That's gigantic sprite. Easy clap. We get some gifts. We take these. Uh... The hell is that? Giant pearfish? Who is this? Oh, that's an X-Saber. Galahad, I want to say something like that. Guard Strike? Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. That's one. Yeah, that's the one. Uh oh, it's the it's a uh, armor something. Oh god, what is this called? Hard armor? Hard armor. Bog. Uh Oh, that's the hero card from Power of the Elements. Uh, the one that everyone thought was Neo's wingman. Shining Neo's wingman. Yeah. That was, was that Power of the Elements or Darkwing Blast? It, I remember it was the one where we argued. We argued um, about this being not a secret rare. Deep seated. Yeah. Uh, field commander. Oh, it's something commander Raz or something. Com yeah, field commander Raz. This is is that cauldron? I think so. Uh, that's Time Thief Perpetua, I think. Yeah. Uh, something corn. Uh. Is it Papa Corn? <laughs> Papa Corn. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's another fire fist. Uh, coyote. Oh, it's an old vanilla level five. Vanilla level five, some angel maiden of the moonlight, you say? Okay, I will believe you. True. I need to step up my old vanilla game. Uh... I think it's called Necklace. Is it Necklace of Command? Yeah. I was lucky there was only one necklace. Because I knew it was called Necklace, but I didn't know exactly. But there was only one. Who the hell are you? Background Dragon. Uh, uh, 
I don't know. Dealer's choice. That is the Preda Plant. Uh, Preda Plant A. Yes, I only knew it started with A. Once again, lucky there's only one. <laughs> I did not know. Okay, that's a that's a black wing, but I need your help on that one because I do not know which one that is. Chidori. Easy clap. Teamwork. Uh, wind up mouse. Rat. No, it's not rat. But. What is that? It's not rat. Is it a. Is it. What is that? B? No, there's no B. Is it snail? It's not snail. What is that? It's not kitten. The hell? Honeybee. Ah, oh, there's no bee, but there's a honeybee. Unfortunate. We lost so much time on that. What the hell is this? I've never seen this. Blizzard warrior. That looks hella dope. Uh, that's Shinobi Necro. I should. I could have. I could have gotten that earlier. Dragoonity. Dragoonity, chat. Please, for the love of God, tell me what that is. Which Dragoonity is that? Atlas or Skip? A it's not Atlas. It is Atlas. Okay. I thought it wasn't, but... Well done. Black Horn of Heaven. Uh... uh... Oh, that's not oh God. Uh, hero. It's just Tempest, right? Yeah, I thought there was more to it for some reason, but. Lightsworn Barrier. Okay, I don't know this one. I don't know this one either. Come on, give me something I know. Oh, it's another fire fizz? But well, that's Coyote again, is it not? Yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> oh, what is this called? Macaron? Marsh Macaron? Is that the one? Yeah. Okay, we got 800. We got 800, we take it. Okay, 800 last second. 800 last second, that's, that's fine. 800 is good. We're happy with 800. We're happy with 800. We're not, we're not like, it's not 1,000. But still, we're, we're, we're happy with that. We take that. We take that. We take that. All right. Cool. Warm up out of the way. Since Wednesday is announced by frogs, is Wednesday the Schmidtling's day? What do you mean Wednesday is announced by frogs? <laughs> Less than a thousand is pure cringe? You cannot do a thousand on this alone. There's no shot. You're not, you're, 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 you are chatting right now. You're, that's so hard. I, I could not do, at least I could not do 1,000 alone. I need some help from chat, I think. It is so tough, I feel like. Unless you're very good, unless you're very good at guessing the cards without even zooming, because then you get like 50 points. Like, if you can do that, but I, I usually need at least one or two zooms. Isn't it Thursday today? It is Thursday today, yeah. It is Thursday, my dudes. <laughs> so I don't know what this is about. Okay. <laughs> How are you today? I am great today. I'm doing good. I am hyped because we have some things uh, planned for today that I am looking forward to a lot. The uh, the two main things we're doing today is uh, first things first. Hold up. Let me. Let me. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> exactly. That's what we're doing. Thank you for the 10 months waiver. Um, one thing we're doing today is we are opening this bad boy because I finally got it. The, the Maze of Memories box from SmartGuard. It, it was lost in it, it was lost by the post, but now it, it has arrived. It, we're a little late on it, but we're, we're doing that. As well as this thing. Uh, which also arrived a little late, but uh, it is here now. The, uh, the Trap Trick Structure Dex. The thing with the Trap Trick Structure Dex is... I already have three, so I don't need any of these. So what we're going to do <laughs> 2K one day. I mean, we need to get a lot better than that, or I, I need to get a lot better, but maybe. Hey, thank you for the four months and thank you for all the support on the card guesser each morning. Um, This sick. Thank you for the six months as well. Thank you for that. So... Yeah, like I said, I don't need these. So we need to figure out the best way of giving away these to chat. Uh, it is eight structured X. The only problem I have, the only problem I have is I don't really want to give them away one by one and then having to send out eight packages. And depending where the people are from, that could be rather expensive to like send out eight separate structures to all parts of the world. Because the recent giveaways, it's been like... Uh, I, I've had people win from like, uh, I, I, like what was the farthest? It was like Indonesia or something. So I had to ship uh, all the stuff to Indonesia, which is fine if it's just one package. But if it's eight, you know, if it's eight times I have to pay shipping to Indonesia, I'm literally losing money from the sponsorship. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, it, that's not really, you know. So I thought one cool thing we could do is we could give away like uh, some of them on stream as like a set of three. Or, like, maybe I, I give them to people at YCS London, but that's also kind of weird, But because then only people that come to YCS London can take part. Not everyone in chat. You know what I mean? Uh, but we could do a mix of it. Like, we could give away, like, three, three structures to one person from chat, right? Or, like, two sets of three, and then give the way... Or, give away the rest at YCS uh, London or something like maybe something like that we'll 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 uh, we'll unbox it uh, I think it's eight we'll see how many it is when we unbox it and then uh, we'll we'll think about how we uh, how we give them away to chat well, there there will be some there will be some way to give them away I'll, I'm, I'm sure it's it's gonna work out um and then after that we are also going to uh, play a little bit on DB because it is back now. It is back now, and um, but we're not just going to play uh, TCG today because there is something we really wanted to do, um, which is... <laughs> well, I don't know if I want to do it, but I, th I feel like you guys want me to do it. And it is playing OCG. <laughs> because we always look at the decks from the OCG and we kind of make fun of it. We're like, hey, it looks so it looks so awful. It looks like it's not a good time. Um, but I don't want to hate for no reason. So we're going to we're going to try it today. So the way it works is I'm gonna head over to Road of the King in a bit and check out some of the OCG deck profiles, and we're gonna look for like some stuff that's like super troll despair and some stuff that looks kind of based. We're gonna try it out and we are going to play against viewers, of course, against you guys. Um, so while I open up the Maze of Memories box, which is what we do first, because I can't stand having uh, sealed boxes on my table. I need to know what's inside. We need to open this ASAP, because otherwise I'm losing my mind. So we're doing that first. While I do that, if you want to take part, you can go on and build the deck on Dueling Book from the OCG deck, whatever you want to play, right? Whatever you want to play later, if you want to play me on stream, Go ahead and build it on DB, and we can do that. Let, in, in the meantime, in the meantime, we're going to set up this box opening over here. Uh, I just need to rearrange my mic a little bit. Like this. Y'all still hear me fine, right? Y'all still hear me fine? Okay. So, uh, should we do a Gamba for this? Let's do, let's do a Gamba. Do we pull a Collector's Rare or not? Do we pull... 
a CR or not. Uh, we only have one box. Once again, it's courtesy of SmartGuard. Uh, thank you for SmartGuard. Thank you, SmartGuard, for hooking me up with some uh, pack opening content. Um, and also with the structured decks, you know, like uh, if, if you win the structured decks later in the giveaway, uh, shout out to SmartGuard. They, they are courtesy of, of SmartGuard. We have one box of Maze of Memories. You have a minute to predict whether we will find a, a collector's rare or not. Last time we pulled one. Last time in the in the smart guard um box we did pull a collector's rare noir so it seems like our luck is good with the uh, with the collector's rare so i want to see i want to see only believers in chat <laughs> of course our odds are not that great our odds are not that great um because what is it like normally you get a collector's rare one in three boxes one in three boxes is roughly our our odds. Not the best, but not the worst. Eh? Um, and also, I, I am pretty sure that if we pull um, if we pull any ultra rares that I don't need, we're also going to give them away after the opening. That's how we always do it. Like the cards I need from this are Barone and Chimera. So it's kind of a bummer that if we pull like the best card in the set, I'm gonna need that for myself. But if it's free, you can't complain. If we pull like some ultra rare that I really don't need, I'm really not the type of person to like go ahead and sell everything. I, I don't like selling cards. I'll just give it away to, to viewers. Like if we pull anything that I don't need, um, I don't know exactly what's in here. I forgot. I forgot exactly what I need and what I don't need. We'll figure out. We'll figure it out as we as we go, right? I'm just gonna see what I pull, and then I'm gonna see if I need it or not, and then uh, yeah. Kitten is in there. Well, like kitten, for example, I could give away because I have a kitten already. A wind up kitten. All right. So we have 24 packs of Maze of Memories. Uh, is this the first set with the little 25 with the little with the little 25th anniversary icon? It's the first time I am noticing it. Is it the first uh, the first box with that? The first set. Okay, yeah, I don't remember seeing that before. All right. I also have the camera a lot closer now, like it's in front of my my face now. Oh, sorry, I tapped it. Um, is that better for for pack openings? Probably, right? Also, do I? Probably better. Lighting is bad. I I know I don't have professional lights for my desk yet. The only thing I can do is put this on as well, but that's probably worse. If I what if I have none? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, I'm not like a, I only have one really good camera, so. Uh. I think it's I think it works. I think it works. I think it's okay. Let's just get opening. All right, I don't know exactly what I want from the set yet. Oh, there's a Gate Guardian, there's a Berian's Utopia, this Kazajin, and we have the first Gate Guardian super rare. Uh I think we are expecting 3 hits right three ultra rares or slash one collector's rare i'm also hoping to get a playset of solemn judgment in super rare i don't know if that's something you can pull like if you if you are if you can pull three of the same super in one box i don't know but i kind of want judgments burial cost down rica petal yellow star the new afd uh, forge a new future and on your mark get set duel which i think is the worst collector's rare in the set if you pull that as a collector's rare labyrinth wall soldier ritual zephyros uh the new labyrinth wall field spell mech knight blue sky collude and overlay network Kalut, I think a good reprint. I heard that this was like three euros for Edison. I don't play much Blackwing in Edison. I think I have some commons, but I, apparently that was a expensive uh, common. 
So I have been told. Uh, I wonder if we can pull a playset of anglers. Spellbook of Fate. Because if you know, uh, if you've been here before, you know rare is my favorite rarity. Uh, so if I can get a playset of nimble anglers, that'd be cool. So far we have no anglers. Treacherous Trap Hole, Mudan, Chaos Form, Photon Orbital, and Alsei. No hits so far. Place it of Angler is doable? Yeah, probably. God, dude. Can you tell? Look at this edge on the card. Can you see that? That's the hollow, too. That's the hollow. I hope that's not an Ultra or Collectors, dude. Oh, God. Oh, Angler. Monka Christ. Please do not be an Ultra Rare or Collectors. Okay, I can already tell. Sorry for the spoiler. It's not a Collectors because I, I would be able to tell from the thingy. Blue Sky, Red Moon, and it is luckily just a Super Rare, that card. That was freaking damage. Luckily, that's not one of our Ultras. God damn, dude. That would have been bad. Pay some attention to that. Whether that happens multiple times in this set. I hope it doesn't. Gate Guardian, Court of Justice, this thing, this thing, Iron Wall, Ancient Fairy, and there's a Judgment. Happy with that. That's a good one. My access code had that from out the pack. Oh, that's so bad, dude. Sorry. I mean, if you play, I guess if you, if you play with the card... It doesn't really matter, right? Unless you sell it at some point. But like, if you if you want to play the card, oh no, dude. Okay. I don't think that's a very good one. I don't think I have to check, but I'm pretty sure that's not the best ultra you can pull. <laughs> Two euro fifty. Okay, pug. It's actually. Well, someone said 250, someone said 10. Well, it doesn't really matter since I'll give that one away. Labyrinth Wall Shadow and Labyrinth Heavy Heavy Tank. Uh ba -ba -ba. Labyrinth Wall Shadow and Psybeast. You can summon Cannon Soldier with Fusion Deployment. Wait, does this does the Fusion need? Wait, which Fusion do you which which do you mean? I'm confused. Anyways, four euros and thirty nine cents. The cheapest copy of Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. Well, okay, I would classify that as not a good Ultra Rare then. Burial. Oh, another Angler and on your mark set duel. Two anglers. We only need one more for the set. It's not in the pack. Oh, okay. Uh, we have Gate Guardian. I think that's the one we already pulled. Yeah, Wind and Water. And that's the first half already done. Well, oh, only one hit so far, and not a very good one. But I think we can get a we can get a place it of angler. I'm pretty sure. Another Ancient Fairy, Mudan, Court of Justice, and there we have the Gate Guardian, Thunder, and Wind. Yo, good luck, Shifai. That's a very cool deck. I like that deck. I don't know how good it really is. It's not bad. Um, but yeah. I just bought 12 boosters and got a Baroness. Well, congrats. I hope I can do the same thing with my remaining 12 boosters. Oh, we have the Infinity card for the first time. And, oh, a second Solemn. Rage, Playset Solemn Judgment, and Playset Angler. Gate Guardians combined. So I think we're only missing one of the Gate Guardians fusion. Not that they're relevant, like they're not, but... We haven't pulled an Avramax yet. Labyrinth Wall, Sujin, another Kalud. I think that's the second one only. 
Wall Shadow, Berian Utopia, Sanga, and oh, oh yeah, okay, that's good. I was I was like, oh god, is that Barone? And then it was not Barone, so I was disappointed for a second. But that's still good, is it not? That's a good card. I think I needed that. Good one. All right. Okay, one bad ultra, one good ultra. It's not a Baron though, but still, we're happy. We're, we're oh, there's the third angler. All right, I'm happy. I'm I'm craigasming, and on your mark, get set, duel. You'll need that for synchro stuff post cyberstorm access. Yeah, I do think that's a good pick, good card to just have. Now give me that that third judgment. Give me that third judgment in six packs. We have six packs, one more hit. And we do need a third judgment. This is Maze of Memories, yes. Oops. Evolution End Burst. Another Utopia Rising. There's the at least the third Kalud. Another Angler. And there's the first Avermax. It's called Ass Dragon. <laughs> okay. And there's the last Water and Thunder Fusion that we needed. How likely is it to pull the same ultra twice from the twice from the same box? I don't think it's possible. I don't know how they make that how they make sure that it doesn't happen, but I don't think you're supposed to ever pull the same one twice. Oh! Easy clap. Play set judgment. And this should be a hit now. This should be a hit unless we are being scammed. Unless we're being scammed, that should be a a, a hit. Is that good? Probably not. Okay, I see a lot of uh, I see a lot of kick W's in in chat. Okay, well, <laughs> flip it back. Okay, I liked it more when it was when it looked like that. <laughs> I liked it more when it looked like that. <laughs> I'm happy about these though. It's like that's the only super we pulled a playset from. That's the only super where we got a playset. Is the one I wanted, so that's good. That's good. And I guess this card is useful. Uh, these two, we will give away in a second. Because I don't have any use for them. These two I don't have any use for. So y'all can have it. No collector's rare though. It's fine. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, okay, choose prediction outcome, no collector's rare, there we go, doubters win, unfortunately, it's alright though. And then, okay, let me move these to the side, we'll give these away together with the, uh, with the structure decks, let me clean this mess up a little bit. And then let me quickly break this open. All right. Beware of trap tricks. I've never seen, I've never opened a box of structured X. <laughs> What is a budget viable deck and how much do I have to pay? I do think that currently in Yu-Gi-Oh! Everyone kind of agrees on the fact that the best budget deck is Trap Tricks. And that's because of this structure deck right here. Like, literally. 
and I don't think uh, I don't think it costs you more than like if you really want to, you could just play three structure decks. If you make some improvements, it costs you a little bit more than that. But all right, so uh, it is indeed eight. It is eight structures in here. So I'm trying to think of how we can give these away the best. Um, three, three, two. I mean, I could do three. The thing is, even with three, I don't really have much packaging for that. What I could do, I'm trying to think if that's better. If I take them out of the box and just send them like that, because they are in one little pack thingy that's a lot easier as well people free stuff yeah i mean it is free stuff because i don't need these and i got them once again the maze of memories box two with these two that we're giving away uh is courtesy of uh, smart guard who are a regular sponsor and supporter of the channel you can go exclamation mark smart to check out their product which is sustainable uh, cardboard top loaders, which is pretty hype. And uh, you can use Josh 10 for 10% off even. And uh, yeah, they are the ones responsible for me being able to give you guys so much free stuff. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, we have... I'm trying to think. Okay, so... I, I think it's good if we give away two sets of three each. I think I can handle the shipping costs of that. <laughs> and then the other two, I'm not going to keep for myself. I'm also going to give away, but I will simply bring these to YCS London. And uh, I will probably raffle them away on my Discord server for to, to people who are attending YCS London. So what you can do is if you're attending YCS London and you want to win these, you can uh, join the Discord server if you're not joined yet, which most of you should be. If not, you're missing out. Uh, you can join the Discord server, and then I'm going to raffle these two away and just bring them to YCS London on the Friday. You can just find me, uh, and uh, I'll, I'll give them to whoever won them. Uh, yeah. That's what we're going to do. So we have two sets of three structures, which even if you're not interested in... Even if you're not interested in playing Trap Tricks, there's very good stuff in here, like evenly matched. Feather Duster, Raigeki, Ash Blossom. Like, they're pretty good structures. Giveaways EU only? They are not EU only. I have given away stuff in the past to people from other countries. The only thing that I have to check is how much the, the shipping is to wherever you live on the structure decks. Like, I'm pretty sure if you win cards, it's no problem. If you win the cards, it's really no problem because the letter will always be fine no matter where. But if I have to pay like, you know, like, I don't know, 20 bucks to ship these, I don't, I guess, I mean, if you win, you win, I guess. I mean, it's whatever. Just, just everyone can take part. Uh, little Tetsu, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. How much the shipping to Indonesia cost? It was fine because it was just cards. It was like eight bucks or something. It is not for subs only. No, 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 no. It is not for subs only. I appreciate people who subscribe to the channel, but the, I don't want, uh, I've, I've said this before, I don't want the reason why people subscribe to the channel. I don't want that to be, you know, hey, I want to win in the giveaways. That's not the, you know, I want people to subscribe because they enjoy the content and not because they can win with the giveaways. If I can win, can you sign something with it? I mean, yeah, sure, if you want to. The Bruno, thank you for the prime. Okay, hold up. Let me open the uh, the giveaway thingy. Uh, Soul Side Journey. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. I will tell you how to how to take part in the giveaway. Hold up. Okay. The way it's going to work is uh, mods can take part. We use a keyword, and first off, we're gonna give away the first three structured decks. 
the first three structure decks with the keyword trap tricks one there you go and you have time like i'll let's like, two minutes until you know just type trap tricks one in chat and then you will be able to win uh droll lol thank you so much for the four months appreciate that i sub for the content but giveaways are always cool okay <laughs> appreciate that all right trap tricks one uh gives you a chance to win to the the, the structure deck you only have to type it once okay there is no reason there's no benefit from putting it in there multiple times just type it once you'll be fine and i will select the winner at uh 57 at 57 when the clock hits 12 57 i will draw a winner Also, case, it is, it is case insensitive. It does not matter if you capital T or lower T it. <laughs> Thank you, Mishi, for the six months. Appreciate that. Just joins what's going on quickly. Type type trap tricks one. Ask questions later. Tra type trap tricks one. Ask questions later. <laughs> okay, it is fifty seven now. It is fifty seven now. So I'm gonna roll it. The winner is Baka Pau. Baka Pau. The first uh, the first set of structured X goes to Baka Pau. Who followed a minute ago? <laughs> uh, okay, there you go. Everyone can win. <laughs> ay, 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 rigged. <laughs> you don't have to follow to win. I mean, I appreciate the follows, but you don't have to follow to win. But uh, okay, easy clap. I won. Yeah, you did. Okay, I'm gonna write that down somewhere. I have a pen somewhere. Uh. I have a pen, but I don't have somewhere to write on. Oh, I do. Okay. All right. Uh, and how it's going to work is you simply have to, you simply have to message me on Discord or on Twitch with your uh, details so I can ship it out to you. Um, yeah. You're in no hurry, just at some point during the day, just message me on, on Twitch or Discord or to claim the, uh, you know, to claim the Structured X. All right, if you are very smart, if you're very smart, you can already guess uh, what the keyword for the second set of Structured Structures is going to be, but only the very smart ones. <laughs> all right trap tricks two and we leave it running until 1 p.m on the dot trap tricks two and 1 p.m on the dot is when uh when we draw the next winner It's kind of weird whenever we do this, like the weird, uh, the weird, like one or two minutes while I can't really interact with chat because literally, uh, it's impossible to keep track of chat when everyone is spamming the, the keyword, but it is what it is. Okay. That's, that's one way to bridge it. <laughs> now, Trap Tricks and Pepe D are fighting for chat. Okay. Pepe D wins. Pepe D wins. Easy clap. That's, I expected. I expected no less from you, Chad. I expected Pepe D to outrun uh, Trap Tricks. <laughs> okay, we need to. We need to draw a winner. I Centrix, one of the actual OGs, takes home the second set of uh, of structured eggs. Hey, justice has been served. One of the longtime followers and subscribers. Easy clap. All right, I'm gonna write that down. 
I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna put these to the side. Also, uh, if any of you are coming to YCS London and you don't need them shipped, I can also bring them to YCS London just in case you're there, Icentrix. I don't know. Um, that is that. Congratulations, Icentrix. We have one more, a little bit of a smaller giveaway uh, for these two that we just pulled from Maze of Memories. These two also are looking for a new home. I think we can set, we can give away both to one person because they're not like the craziest ultras. You know, you can win both at once. I think that's better. And um, yeah, you can just message me in Discord. Uh, pop, pop, pop. The, the keyword for this is maze. Just use maze. And we're going to leave it running for like a minute until you can. Uh... Thank you, the bread boy. Thank you for the three months. Welcome back. Appreciate that. Thank you for the support. All right. I can rearrange my mic now because we're not opening anymore. Uh, I think we'll leave it running until two minutes after one. Yep, yep. Get that cam out of here. Okay. And there we go. Roll it. Roy boy. I'm going to write that down. Congratulations, all the winners. Congratulations to all the winners and uh, everyone else, you know, you tried. <laughs> Better luck next time we do these somewhat regularly. Not too often, but every once in a while when we have extra stuff, we give it away because I don't need it. So, yeah, congrats, everyone. Uh, and you guys just need to message me, like I said, me message me on Twitch or on Discord, wherever you prefer. And I will get these shipped to you as soon as I can. As well as, once again, we have two leftover structure decks. We have two leftover structure decks, which I will be bringing with me to YCS London. And I will, at some point, just raffle them off in my Discord server to people that are coming to YCS London. And so, you know, if you are going to YCS London and you're not in the Discord yet, you might want to join. You might want to join the Discord. And, uh, you know, and even if you're not going... You can join the Discord because it's a cool place to talk card games. You know what I mean? All right. Now, let me quickly get the lights back on because I had to turn them off because of the glare on the cards when we opened them. Well, that's better. Okay. All right. And that is done. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now, before we hop into the OCG playing portion of the stream, let us very quickly react to some new cards, which I don't know how interesting they are, honestly, because they are... They are... Um, V-Jump new subscription cards. I don't know exactly what that means. You look tired? I'm not tired. I don't know why that... I don't know why. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, anyways, new subscription cards for V-Jump. Which I think is just what we call jump promos. Is that how... Do they still do jump promos? In, in, in like the US? Does that still exist? Yeah? What was the last jump promo? I remember, like, it was, that was, like, Summon Sorceress, Shooting Riser, Link Kuribo. Those were all, no, Link Kuribo. Those were all jump promos, right? The Trishula Fusion. Ah. <laughs> Instant Fusion. Thank you for the three months. Appreciate that. <laughs> Should we ban Instant Fusion in chat? Should we ban Instant Fusion? Because that card should be banned. Oh, it makes me think. <laughs> no! <laughs> Should have... 
<laughs> should have uh should have uh picked a better nickname <laughs> okay anyways burning dragon level 8 fire dragon effect monster uh you can only use this card's first and second effect once per turn each if this card is in your hand and your opponent controls two or more monsters, you can special summon this card. Not a quick effect, so not a hand trap. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can discard a spell, destroy all spell traps on the field. Uh, That seems like a bad card, I want to say. Because it, like, it requires your opponent to have two monsters... For the first part of the effect. And for the second part of the effect, it requires your opponent to also have like spell and trap cards, like multiple spell and trap cards for it to be useful. So the only scenario where this card is even any good is if your opponent has two monsters, two back row, and you have this and a spell in hand. And even then it's not that great because they can probably negate it. The one scenario I can see is you could, you, since it is a dragon, you could, like, side it in, in dragon decks for, like, trap matchups. You know, like, maybe you can side it with, when you make seals going first or whatever, and they go, you know, they go set five. But you still need a spell in hand to discard, but, like, you know, that could be something. I don't know. It could be, like, a one-off side deck card for dragon, for dragon decks. You can search it with Magnemute in, in trap matchups, stuff like that. But it's not, not a great card. It's not a great card overall, but there are some applications, you know? Three-Eyed Ghost. Level 3 Dark Fiend Effect Monster. You can only use this card's name effect once per turn. You can send this card from your field to the graveyard at a level 1, uh, a level 10 Dark Monster from your deck to your hand. Now, what can we do with that? Is there any good target for that? Isn't uh, Lord of the Heavenly Prison a target for that? Yeah, Lord of the Heavenly Prison, I guess. <laughs> Dragodia. <laughs> You're an OG. You're an OG if you search Dragodia with this card. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay. The, f the fact that it takes your normal summon is really bad. But maybe if you really want that Lord of the Heavenly Prison in your trap deck, and your trap deck might not need its normal summon, I guess you could play this card. Um, it is also a Dark Fiend, so it might have some synergy with Labyrinth as well. But I'm not sure how good that card is. It's not, it's not like insane, right? I mean, Lord of the Heavenly Prison is an okay card. A solid card in some decks even. But, you know, searching a, searching a, this thing. Is this also, is this just dead Sangan? Because it says Sangan, Sangan no shir, Shiryu. Does it have anything to do with Sangan? Or does Sangan just mean like fiend? I have that stupid remix in my head. Now my cat thinks I'm insane walking around saying Joshua Schmidt over and over. That's how it goes. That, that's how you know you're a, you're a true uh, Josh viewer if that's what's happening. Easy clap. Sangan just means three eyes. Oh. Wait, so Sangan is just literally called three eyes? In, in Japan? They're just like, hey, I summon three eyes. Oh, wait, no, it's called Critter, yeah. Okay. Rose Papillon, level 3 wind insect effect monster. During your main phase, you contribute summon a level 7 or higher monster in addition to your normal summon or set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. If you control another insect monster, this card can attack directly. Okay, that's just trash. Why? I mean, I guess it's a good thing. I guess it's a good thing that they are not making these promos, like, actually strong cards. Because, I'm gonna be honest... <laughs> That's a good one. 
That's a good one, but if I that, that was funny. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the three months. Uh, I think it's a good thing that um, they are not making these cards strong cards. Because I really didn't, I really don't enjoy the uh, the mechanic behind it or like the way it goes. Because like some of you, if you're from the U.S., might not even know that. But like when when Summon Sorceress came out in the U.S., the same is true for Link Karibo, The same is true for Shooting Riser. We in the te in in Europe, we were not able to play the cards because technically those promos are only released in in North America. Or maybe South America too. I don't actually know how it is for like South and Latin America. But in Europe, we can't play them because we don't get the promos. They don't exist. So like we, uh, we, we, the TCG is also split into two parts now when there's like summon sorcerers or something. Because in, in, in North America, there's like Goki with summon sorcerers and Link Kariba, which were super, super relevant. But in, the, in, in Europe, we just didn't have them. So it was super different, which was kind of awkward. So I think it's a good thing that these cards suck. And I think that's all we have to look at for today. I think that's all we have to look at because, yeah, okay, the rest is nothing. I don't think there's anything relevant. Okay. What deck was almost unplayable because of the Link one? Uh, it was... It, I mean, it's... Unplayable is the wrong term, but it was... Very, very good in Goki, the, the Link Kuribo, because it was used in the extra Link combo. It was used in the extra Link combo, and it was very good with if you just had Octo Stretch and you wanted to link it off. So Goki was a lot worse without the Link Kuribo. It's the same thing for Mexico and the rest of Latam. It's, on, it's, it's only playable on the, in the USA. Yeah, it's super weird. For viewer games, do we need to use current OCG ban list with the decks, or can we use OCG cards with TCG ban? No, I want to play the current OCG format. I want to do the current OCG format. I want to see how bad it is. I want to see how bad it really is. And that's the segue to the next portion of the stream. That's what we're doing today. Today we're doing Experiment Andy. Experiment Andy with OCG metagame. Because we've looked at these meta reports from the OCG a couple times, and we wondered, we wondered how bad is it really? Because I've made fun of this. I've made fun of this a couple times uh, of the format, because like you look at this and you see like the craziest decks, like Junk Doppel, freaking Super Heavy Samurai, Fossil, Vernusilf, Ad Emancipate. Like, look at this, dude. Look at this. Who wants to play against this? No one does, and so we're going to figure out today how bad it really is. We're going to figure out how bad the OCG really is. Like, whether we can actually feel good about the TCG format, because, like, there might be a couple things... There might be a couple things in the TCG that you don't like, you know, like, I don't know, a Rise Hard being a problem card or whatever, but... I I kind of feel like we could prove the argument that there it could be a lot worse. <laughs> it could be a lot worse. And so we're going to play a, a couple different decks. Some of these decks also look cool. Like I, for example, think the Purely deck looks like it's not the worst. Like that wouldn't be the worst format of all time if we played like Purely decks. But uh, there's also still issues with here. <laughs> so we're going to... I'm going to hop over to Dueling Book and I'm going to build some of these decks. I'm going to build some of these decks um, and we're going to play some OCG today. And you can, you can play. You can take part. You can play against me on, on DB if you build one of these decks. Now, I'm going to just throw you to the link to Road of the King, which is the website I'm using whenever I want to see something from the OCG. I'm going to throw you the link to that website in the chat right now. And uh, you can just pick whatever you think looks the most like crazy, the, the craziest shit from, from this. Preferably if you already know what some of the cards do, because I don't. So if we both don't, then uh, it's going to be messy. Is this best of three or best of one? I think for the sake of, for the sake of making it even more crazy and even like more unplayable and to get more games with different decks in, we're just going to play best of ones. We're going to play best of ones. So because some of the OCG tournaments are best of ones, some are not. The YCS is our best of one though. So we're, we're going to, we're just going to go full Gamba. Uh, 
What do you think we should play first? What do you think we should play first? Should we play the Junk Doppel deck? It's only YCS's, all the others are best of three. Okay, then maybe it's not a perfect representation, but like I said, for the sake of getting multiple games with different decks in, I think best of one is still better because we only have so much time for this and like I, I want to play some, of, some different decks instead of, you know. Uh, let's, let's play multiple decks. You know what? Since I, since I hated on this one, since I hated on this one, let's just play this one. Let's play Adam Mancipator. Let's get, let's get, let's get completely stupid. OCG Adam Mancipator. All right. Uh, we have Block Dragon. <laughs> of course. Um, we have three Block Dragons. Uh, Okay, what is that card called? What is the second card called? What is that? Weathering? Weathering Soldier. Oh, that already exists. If this card is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can add a Fossil Fusion or a card that specifically lists Fossil Fusion in its text from your deck to your hand. Okay, let cook. Uh, let me move it over. I think I know the rest. Kwaki. I hate the fact. Miru. Three guardians. And a supplier. Where is that? Supplier. Where are you? There. Then we have the Xeno guitar. I think it's what it's called. Rock band Xeno guitar. We have a tackle crusader. We have a Doki Doki, one. We have a Mudora. We have some Vernusilves. Three Flourishing Hills, three Awakening Forest, three Seedlings. Oh God, this deck looks so stressful to play against. Three of that, three of that, three of that. Three Ash Blossom, three Max C, and then we have two Called by the Grave. <laughs> two Called by the Grave, and I believe that's Fossil Fusion. And that's the first deck. <laughs> that's the first deck. Hold up. Let me... Fossil Fusion. We need this thing. There's this... There's an Adamantipator. Uh, only this one? Quiron. Chengying. Gallant Granite. Dweller. Oh, my love is here. Oh, we can play my love again. Sprite Elf. Pog. Mascarena. Transverser. Some nightmares. There's a Cerberus and a Unicorn. No Phoenix. Interesting. Skulldred. Goddess. Wait, there's Boral End? How do we make Boral End? And there's some Firewall. Singularity? What the hell? How? Okay. This is the deck. Let me quickly, before we play it, let me read the cards I don't know. Uh, Weathering Soldier is the one that adds the Fossil Fusion. Fossil Fusion is Fusion Summon a Fossil Fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials mentioned on it from any graveyard if you banished monsters from both graveyards neither player can target the monster with monster effects if a face up fossil fusion monster you control is destroyed by battle while this or or card effect while this card is in your grave you can add this card from the graveyard to the hand you can only use this effect once per turn and this thing needs a rock monster in your graveyard and any level 4 or lower so we just use this as a as an extender you just use it as an extender? 
Just like the, when this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect or battle, you can just add a uh, you can add a, an extender for a level four monster, I guess, uh, which is a rock monster. Okay, and then we have. I guess I know everything else except for this thing. Firewall Dragon Singularity. Quick effect. You can target card... Like, this is a Link 6. You can target cards your opponent controls and or in their graveyard up to the number of different types of monsters. Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, XYZ. You control and in your grave. Return them to the hand. And if you do, this card gains 500 attack for each card returned. If a monster this card points to is destroyed by a battle or sent to the grave, you can target a cyber's monster in your grave, special summon it. You can only use each effect of firewall once per turn. Okay, so I guess since you play XYZ, Synchro, and Fusion, and Link in your combo, you just, like, make this and it bounces, like, five cards? And you can make it with Mascarena and then revive Mascarena or something? Okay, well. All right, well, that's the first deck. <laughs> See how it goes. The dual password is Josh. And I'm hosting. All right. Oh, there's entrance. Oh, you guys want to play. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, we get to go first. <laughs> we get to go first. Okay, okay. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, hold up. We have... Not a very good hand, I think. Uh, Discard, discard. Add a monster. This is combo. Okay. I start with the I start with the duck discarding weathering soldier or tackle crusader probably and just summon it back and then we make what gallant granite like what the hell is going on okay I need some guidance We use the duck and discard tackle crusader Do you know what that means also? Why do you chain to that? Now I can ash. Oh god, now I can ash. I could I would not be able to ash if you did that later. Oh god. Okay, we're throwing. Okay, P peace. Bye bye, Maxi. Easy clap. Uh and what do we add? Probably just Mudora, just to set it up. Just Mudora? So we did we discard Mudora for Vernusilv of the Flourishing Hills. Add Mudora. Because this adds any light any Earth Fairy. And we special summon Tackle. And then we go Effect of Flourishing Hills. Discard Mudora. Which adds a Vernusilv. So I guess we take that. And then we special Mudora. And then we don't get hand trapped on Gallant Granite. Very important part of this combo. Uh... I think we use Granite Detaching Tackle Crusader, so... Oh. And now what, chat? Now what? <laughs> what do I do now? Pass? We have nothing! We have nothing! We can't pass! Send from your deck to the graveyard one earth monster that can be... Surely we can do something with this. I don't care. We, we play. 
We go Awakening Forest. We can send... So this is... The discarding is cost, so this thing will not trigger. But we can send something else. Can I summon the one that I sent? No, right? With a different name from that monster. Unfortunate turn of events. Send block dragon? Wait, can I? No, I can't. Because it says... Send from your deck to the graveyard one earth monster that can be normal summoned or set. And then block dragon cannot be normal summoned or set. It says cannot be normal summoned or set. So I cannot send block dragon. Stop chatting. I cannot send block dragon. But I can send... I can send another... Uh, of the soldiers. Then I can revive... I don't know. Tackle Crusader. I can use the effect of the soldier. On, and we grab fossil fusion. Activate fossil fusion. Uh, we banish... What do we banish for this? A, a rock in your grave? A rock in your grave... And I don't know. Let's just banish the, the ash in their grave. No, let's banish Maxi in case there in case it's a mirror match. In case it's a mirror match, I'm ban I'm banishing the the Giga Five Head, the, the Earth Monster. And then uh Do I make Dweller? Or IP? I can make IP. I can make IP, and then I can link off the Tackle Crusader, and book a monster. And it also gets, it also gets Gallant Granite into the graveyard. On the other hand, if they cannot play under Dweller... No, I can also detach from Dweller. I can also detach from Dweller to book. Boom. And if they can't play, my Gallant Granite survives and it's going to be glorious. You go, dude. I'm not going to shotgun it because I want to book with Tackle Crusader. There's no way we, we, we cannot lose. This is the OCG, and we've managed to put our entire hand onto the field turn one. That's what they are all trying to do. So, in, in a way, this is as good as it gets, chat. You need to understand. This is as good as it gets. We cheated? Why? What did I do? You can't send soldier? Send from your deck to the graveyard one earth monster that can be normal summoned or set. Wait, what? Keep reading? Then you can special summon an earth monster from your graveyard with a different name from that monster. Yeah, I didn't do that. I did not summon back. I summoned back Tackle Crusader. They normal summon Max C. Oh god, it's... I'm booking that. Woo. I summoned back Tackle Crusader. What the hell is happening? Have I been baited? I don't know what that card does. Doing your main. Oh! Bestial Sprite! That deck's so based! I'm happy you're winning. I'm happy you're winning, dude. I'm happy for you. That's good. Based! <laughs> I've never been so happy losing. 
<laughs> but during your main phase, you can special summon this card from your hand, then take 700 damage. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck, except synchro monsters, while this card is face up in the monster zone. If a face up dragon synchro you control is tributed, you can banish this card from your grave, then target one. Cupid pitch. Okay. Magnamut. Magnamut F, yeah. There's no way we win, <laughs> by the way. The Cupid Pitch is negated, though. I hope they forget. Chaos Ruler. Oh, God. Okay. Get it twisted, you will win. Kaliga Crow, Lubellion Tuning, Called by the Grave Cyber's Gadget. What's happening? <laughs> what are they cooking? They misplayed a lot. See, it's fine, dude. We're playing this for the first time, I assume. We're all in this together, okay? It's no problem if we misplay today. We are not trying to play perfectly today. We are just trying to cook some OCG shenanigans, okay? That's all. It's fine. It is fine. Not the Kaliga Clockro. Okay. Now, Lubellion does not activate in the graveyard. This does work under Dweller. Oh, regained. I love this deck. I Oh my god, this deck looks so cool. That deck looks so awesome. <laughs> We're all in this together, Pepe D High School Musical. Oh yeah, right. That's what they that's what they're singing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not intended. <laughs> I mean they can make uh, if this is actually a sprite deck, they can at the very minimum they can make elf. Bring back a level 2 and then make Gigantic. And then go Blue Jet, you know, like, they have everything. OCG format is much better than TCGs with Sayak, 100%. I think there's a couple, couple problem cards that make me think that that's not quite true, but... It's funny because some decks in the OCG, when I look at them, I'm like, damn, I wish that was our format, like Bestial Sprite or... Purely like those decks look so cool, but then I look at decks like the one that I'm playing right now, like uh, Adam Emancipator, Triple Block Dragon. Then I look at three max C's, and then I'm like, nah, I don't like that. Uh, what does this do? If this card spares summon, target a card in the field, banish it. All right, goodbye, Gallant Granite, and goodbye, Abyss Dweller, 1800. Uh, if this card is special summon, target a card in the field, banish it. This card gains these effects based on the original attributes of the materials used for a synchro summon. Light, synchro monsters you control are unaffected by your opponent's activated monster effects. Dark, your monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, next. We'll take each, each deck for like two to three spins, depending on how much I enjoy it. This is why everyone's playing Goddess. I'm not sure why they're, what they're playing Goddess for. Okay, we win the coin flips. Okay, oh... Now, this is a recipe.
Yep, block. Yep, block. The problem is runic. Is that runic stun? Don't tell me it's runic stun. Don't tell me you went on to Road of the King and searched for a runic stun deck. That's not what you did. I not no 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 no. I don't believe you. You did not do that. Or did you take? Maybe you took the runic sprite deck. In that case, based. No, don't set cards. Okay, just one. Okay. All right. Now, now surely we can pop off. Uh. Um. I want to say let's start with with the uh, flourishing hills discard analyzer. Pop. Uh, pop. So we add the the bear, the sleeping bear. We add the sleepy bear and we bring back analyzer. Uh in attack. We are aggressive today. On summon. Uh oh. Flashing fire. Uh okay. Banish. Banish. Okay. Yeah. Don't draw into Maxi. Don't draw into Maxi. For the love of God. Do not. Oh god, it's gonna happen. I said it. I should not have said it. Nah. Ah! 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 Just kill him? They're playing runics! How am I supposed- There's no way- There's no chance in the universe that I can kill them. You're at Emancipator, you have all the fuel. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. I'm not passing. I'm not passing. Okay, okay. Trust we can do it. Surely. Uh, effect. Add Mudora. Where's Mudora? Add Mudora. Special Summon Analyzer. Uh, you draw, yes. <laughs> uh, do we thin the deck a little bit with this first? I don't think so. I think we just, like, pop off. Okay, uh... Effect. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Let's just, like, banish top five. Banish five. Okay. Okay, we could get Guardian. The problem with Guardian is that it doesn't really do shit. We're probably just going Researcher or Seeker? Because, like, they're playing Runics. What, what am I trying to negate? Oh, I have to summon non-tuners? Oh, non -tuners. Okay, well, it's only this. Okay, okay well then... Uh... Then it don't matter. So, how do I even get to Barone without the level 2 tuners? I don't know, we're jamming. I mean, Block Dragon will find me something. Uh, I'm just gonna send this again. Surely that's fine. I would send Tackle Crusader to, like, return the Fountain. That would actually be a good play if they didn't banish my Tackle Crusader with the first runic spell they played. That would have been a very good play.
Because then we actually could have killed them. But with this thing on the board, there's almost no shot we can, I, I feel like. So I'm going to... What is that? Just three earth? Okay. Banish Maxi. Banish Flourishing Hills. Banish this. Yep, block. You draw. And I will... What do I do, dude? Just... Just make IP? I could make Saryuja. Chain block the block dragon. Leap. Uh, I could also make unicorn. Target the fountain. Blah, blah. Wait, no, I, I'm locked into earth effects. I can't make unicorn. I guess let's just make IP just so I can use the block dragon effect. So we have not normal summoned, have we? I don't think we have. So we get what, level 8 combined? Yeah, level 8 combined. So, like, Seeker, Researcher, and the level 4, surely, right? Surely we get Seeker, Researcher, and a level 4. Right? This. This. If a face-up rock you control is sent to the grave, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is special summon, you can add... Uh, okay, that's good. Supplier. And now... Uh, they're both tuners. If I special them... If I special one, I go into Raptite, and then with Raptite... I can't use Raptite's effect. That's annoying. I also can't use Barone's effect. Why is there Raptite, Barone, and Chengying in my deck when I'm always locked into Earths? Like, literally, my entire extra deck is unusable. How am I ever going to be able to kill like that? I don't know. Bob. I know I can summon them, but what's the point? How do I get there? They, they, they have infinite runics. I have to get rid of Fountain. I have to get rid of Fountain, but no card in my extra deck gets rid of Fountain because I'm locked into Earth. I can't use Unicorn. I can't use Barone Pop. I can't use Chengying Banish. I have no card in the deck that can pop this fountain. Oh my god, tip. Just the tip? Yeah, sure. Boral End can attack every runic? Ah, uh, Boral End. It still does not work out, but... Uh, wait, they banish one. And then they banish five. Banish five. Or I banish five. And I miss. Og, I'm the best. Played around Maxi like a boss. Uh, does Boral End do piercing? No. No. Bro, what am I supposed to do? Make Raptite, no effect. Make Baron, no effect. <laughs> it's so dumb. What do I do? I don't know, dude. Effect supplier. Effect. Freezing curses on that one. Sure. Banish. 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 Uh. 
But what can I do? I can't do anything. Special. Like. <laughs> Spanish five. Okay, I have hella guardians. Seeker needs an Emancipator. Yeah, just just pretend I did the other one first, dude. I don't. It doesn't even matter. Just pretend I did the other one first. I don't know this. I don't know this type of stuff. Uh. I mean, we cannot do twenty-one special summons, dude. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's fur hire. We lost to fur hire runic. Ah, oh, God, why did you show me this? Ah, uh, why did you show me? Why did you show me that? Oh, God, I would have preferred not to know that. Ah, uh, I did not need to see that. <laughs> God. Damn, okay, let me let me find a different deck, dude. We've gone 0-2 with the Adam Emancipator deck. That does not count. I want to play a cool deck now. I also want to play one of the cool decks. Nah, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Uh, let's play purely. Let's play purely. <laughs> Wait, what? No. Uh, OCG purely. We have not played Junk Doppel yet, but I do think it's kind of fun. I do think this is kind of fun, so we might play, uh, we might play all of them. Or, like, a, a, a bunch of them. Okay, so you play 3-3-3, three, 3-3-3, three, 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 three. noted. 3-3-3-3-3. Three, 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 three. Three. All of them? One, two, three, four, five, six different ones. One, two, three, four, five, six different ones. Okay. Uh then we have in the extra deck we have two, 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 but no of the other seven. Okay, we have two, 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 two. How many of the trap? Just one trap. Just one trap. We have some we have two ashes, the most random. Two ashes, Maxi. Small, thank you for the three months. Thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Uh, we have Dark Ruler No More, which seems like a good card in OCG land. I'm going to be honest. Uh, we have the two Prosperity, because semi-limited. Uh, we have some of the, the, the triple tactics. So we have two and two, I believe. Dos Dos, okay. And the Metal Foes Fusion. Pose fusion. Okay, and we got in the rest in the extra deck. We have some link ones, uh, some rank ones, and link ones. We have Sylvan Princess Sprite. We have the Nightingale, which is the one that attacks directly, right? The this thing. We have Zeus. Uh, we have Anima. There was a Dark. There was a Dark, and there is... That's the Sky Striker link, right? Sky Striker and Downard. Downard. Bro, the Zeus is gonna be so fat. We're gonna make such a fat Zeus. Okay. Base. Now... Okay, let me read the cards I don't know.
Thank God that happened with Purely. <laughs> Purely is not that hard to rebuild. I hate when it does that. I hate that it does that. I don't understand why they did that. Ah. Uh. All right, Dark Ruler, Ripple, two two, Metal Force Fusion, which I assume is just because you discard with every single purely spell, so you have a free discard. Nice, I like that. And we have Max C, Ash, and what was the last two of? There was like one two of. Oh, Prosper. Rasp. Like that. And then in the extra deck, we're missing Zeus. Downard. Uh, wait, I put two of this. Uh, Nightingale. And... Um, the Sylvan. Save deck. <laughs> okay, save deck. The new purely card. Actually, let me move to the other side for this. Let me move to the other side for this. Uh, the new purely card. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add a purely card from your deck to your hand except the quick play spell. So this, this is like insane, but it's once per turn, sadly. You can target a purely quick play spell in your graveyard, special summon an XYZ monster that mentions it from your extra deck by using this face up card you control as material and attach it. So that's also crazy. So what we're trying to do, like the best one to open, I think, is Sleepy Memory, because we want to attach as many Sleepy Memories as possible under our XYZ. So we can draw in the opponent's standby phase. And then we want to use Leap to rank up into Noir to draw again. Sleepy memory. Oh no, you can't use sleepy because it's not mentioned, right? The, the, they only mentioned the old ones. You're right. There's no corresponding XYZ to sleepy memory. So with Lily, we can only rank up with the other ones. But we're trying to attach this with like the field spell, right? We play the field spell because it attaches in the end phase, right? And then we just want to activate this from hand. Okay, I see. Okay. Uh, and then we have the striker link is must be link summoned. You can only special summon Azalea once per turn. If this card special summon, target a card in the field, destroy it. Then if you have three or less spells in the grave, send this card to the grave once per turn. At the start of the damage step, if this card is battle an opponent's monster, you can banish a spell from your grave, destroy that opponent's monster. This card is just randomly really good. Like randomly as an option, really nice. Okay. I'm ready. Hit me. Hit me with your with your OCG Bruce. Is this OCG only? Yes, we're playing OCG today. We're trying to figure out how bad the OCG really is. I've won all the coin flips so far. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, that's a good hand. That's a pog hand, I think. Oh. Ooh. That is a nutty hand, I think. Okay, how do we go about this? How do we go about this? Sleepy into Lily. Wait, no. Sleepy into Lily, but because with Sleepy, we cannot rank up. We don't want to go, we don't want to use the Sleepy now. You have friend? Yeah, but don't we want to start with friend? We want to go friend first. Effect, pay 500. They don't have droll, dude. They don't have droll. And then we reveal... Uh, three, which one? Delicious? They all look so similar. Delicious memory... Wait, no, delicious is not good. Show three delicious? How? I can't use it. Because there's no monster on the field.
just use sleepy first? I'm confused. You use sleepy to summon. Okay, I'm just gonna add delicious. I'm gonna do whatever you say. Uh, show free time. I'm going to use Sleepy to summon, although I'm not sure that's correct, but... I'm going to activate this. Discard the Dark Ruler. Special Lily. Declare Lily's effect to add the trap card, right? Sure. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, so now, I mean, we have thrust. And then most likely just take tactics. Do I want to take the rule colors? But linking it off is a little annoying. I mean, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. And then I just activate Delicious Memory, discard Prosp. So, like, Delicious is going to summon the other, the Purely. And then I rank up. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what I need to do. So, this. Discard that. Special. This. I guess I could have used Prosp. Uh, effect. Ideally, we want to hit the field spell, I think. Add an excavated purely spell trap. Okay, we get another delicious memory. Sure. And the rest goes bottom of the deck. Now I can link two with these. Oh, they played into Anima Zone. They played into Anima Zone. You fool! And now I just make dark, I think, just to get this off the field. Uh, no. No. They can't trigger Havness, right? Because it's destroyed by, uh, by game mechanic, not by card effect, I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, that would have been a stupid mistake, but... Uh, effect. So, that puts this... Uh, 
by using this card and attach that card. Okay, so we overlay these two. And that makes plump. And plump now... Target two spell traps in the graveyard. Effect. This. And I think you attach more just in case we put a Zeus on it later. We just want as many materials as possible. Okay, this is tiring on DB. Overlay. Overlay. Move somewhere. Set leap. Is there a reason to set delicious memory? I guess to protect it from battle, we could. And then we pass. Okay, I thought that was Nibiru. I thought they were going to Nibiru me, dude. Ha! Huh. Still, dude, I, that's still annoying. Monka S, please don't hit more. That's right, that's Kaleido Heart, dude. Oh my god. Oh, they're not making Collider Heart. Are they? No, they're making Collider Heart. Oh, god damn, dude. How do you hit King of the Swamp twice? <sighs> How many names do they have? Nice. Nice. God damn, dude. At some point, I will win a game. No, I have not. I have not won a game yet, as you like to point out. <laughs> Sick. Nah, this is 60 cards. I have no hand trap. No dark ruler. Ah! <laughs> I'm not being treated very well today by you guys. I'm not being treated very well. I it's not really uh it's not really fair what you guys are doing with me. Stop losing. I, I'm trying, dude. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I'm not trying to lose. I'm just being maxied, havenist, uh, everything. Allure with Thunder Dragon Dark in 60 cards? Stop. Your draw is so insane, DB doesn't even load the card images because it can't believe what's happening. What are you doing to me? Is Colossus legal? Oh my god. Stop. Nah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? They banished another one. <laughs> You're not real. You're not a real human. <laughs> Stop. What is this thing? <laughs> Stop doing that. Stop. Please, I'm begging you, stop.
Ah, <laughs> oh, not another necro face. <laughs> My deck. What is that? That's not Barone. Target a banished light or dark special summon it. Nah! How? Uh, oh, Assault Synchron. Oh, that's a tribute. That's not even... Oh, my. Wait, is it a tribute? I'm so confused. Don't please don't bring back Necroface. Okay. You can activate one of these effects. Banish up to one light and up to one dark from hand or grave. Increase the level or decrease by the exact number banished. Yeah. Assault triggers when it's banished by its own effect. Okay. Only Necroface, yeah, sure. <sighs> Decreased level, okay. I should have never agreed to this. How, what did I, what was I thinking when someone said, hey, let's play OCG, and I said, yeah, that's a cool idea, let's play OCG. Why did I agree to that? Why did I agree to that? Why did I even... Why did I get up today? <laughs> God damn. Okay, Tauli, I'm gonna inform you that I still have cards left in my deck. So, please do something about that. You can't just, like, like necroface me three times and then just leave. No worries. Okay. We're, okay. We're just stream sniping. We're just stream sniping without even uh, without even hiding it. We're just answering the the things I say in 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 the stream in chat. Okay. I see how it is. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Public knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> is listening not allowed now nah, it's fine today today it's fine it's all good i don't mind oh no no uh... Uh... it's it's all snowver now <laughs> Josh is getting destroyed again. I don't like the way you said that. I don't like the way you, I don't like your I don't like your tone, sir. <laughs> well, the stupidest thing is they have not banished a single effect except for Necroface. Like their deck doesn't even have synergy with banishing shit. Like it doesn't even do anything. They're just spiting me. <laughs> no more assault synchrons. What? Make him stop. Uh, what is what is that? Send a zombie from your deck to the graveyard? Oh nah. When your zombie monster is destroyed, what do you do? What do you what are you doing? What are you doing? Mizuki? <laughs> I'm sending zombie. I know. I know. Okay. I, okay. <laughs> what is that? Send a zombie from your hand or deck to the grave. This card's banished. You can banish a zombie in your grave. Sure, I knew he's spirit master. Oh, God. Savage.
Oh, so you're not decking me out, huh? You, you said, you, you spoke some big words right there. When you said, don't worry, I'm decking you out. You lied. Okay, now. In all honesty, though, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do, chat? Uh, I can't search. There's a snow. Uh, they have a Baron negate, a Savage negate. What is this? When your opponent activates a monster effect, you can target a banished card, shuffle it into the deck. Then, if you were that card's owner, destroy that monster. If your opponent was, negate that activated effect. Okay, they can negate a monster effect or destroy a monster. Negate, negate, I can't search. They have snow. This card is dead because it searches. This card is dead because it searches. So I have four cards against four negates. Or like three negates and a book. If you run the math on that, like four live cards against four interactions, if you run the math on that, it's not looking very favorable for us right now. Is there a world in which we can... Like... Can I view my extra deck or am I also locked out of viewing my extra deck? Hello, DB, I want to look at my extra deck. I'm locked out of look. I'm, I can't. I can't view my extra deck. Cool. I'm locked out. Okay, now. Uh, is there a world where we can break this with like a Zeus cheeky Zeus? This card can attack directly. You can attach a material. There's no way, right? I don't even have to. I don't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Close one. <laughs> oh, can I win a game? <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I'm glad you had fun. <laughs> it's okay. I have no idea what I'm doing either. Okay. <laughs> That's implying I don't know what I'm doing, which is kind of hurtful because I did not have any agency about that game. That was not my fault <laughs> that I did not win that game. <laughs> okay, I'll give purely another spin. <laughs> it looks like the deck is not very good though in comparison to what the other decks are doing to me will I finally be able to win a game please okay this hand is good right surely I can win surely okay hold up uh, we have happy pretty memory which is not good we want to use delicious right because we want to make plump but we can still use Sleepy to summon. Okay, Sleepy to summon. Uh, this card, Ready Memory. Ready. Special Lily. Activate Lily effect. Mourner. Now, that's not very cool, because that means I can't get the trap card. But I really want the trap card. I really wanted the trap card. That's a bummer. Also, it's negated, so I can't rank up. Oh, my... No. Mourner? Chat, how can I lose every time? How do I lose... It? How does this deck lose to one Mourner? Ah, come on! Now what? Happy memory? Discard max? See, I can't. I, I, okay. I'm just gonna max see them. Surely it's fine. What the hell is that? Oh, nah. If you have no spell and traps in your grave, you can place a super heavy samurai pendulum from your deck in your pendulum zone, except... Okay. Uh, then special summon this card. I'm maxing. Resolved! Now... 
We only have one hand trap in the deck, but they don't know that. Actually, they probably do know that because they're watching. Huh? You're watching, Morax. Big Ben K, dude. If you control a super heavy samurai monster, you can add a super heavy samurai soul monster from your deck to your hand. Okay. Wait, that's not what they can. They, uh, they can't add that, right? You can't add that one. Yeah, okay. So what are they supposed to add? The is the soul is the is the bow uh, is the is the, is the little bow a uh, a soul card? Right, yeah. Soul piercer, that's the one. Yeah. You can target a super heavy you control. Equip this monster from your hand or side of the field to that target. If it attacks, if this card is sent from the field to the grave, add a super heavy samurai monster from your deck to your hand. Mm -hmm. Where did he go? Okay. They have a link one? Oh, god Vakushi effect. What is Vakushi's effect? Ah, just go for it, dude. Chat, tell me when they're cheating. <laughs> tell me when they're cheating, because I have no idea what's going on. That is not what the card does. Okay. Uh... If this card is used as a synchro material. True. Not what it does. <laughs> they don't know the deck it's fine i don't know the deck either <laughs> it's whatever that gives us a chance because maybe then they mess up the otk through maxi or something Maybe we can finally win the first game because they don't all they also don't know how to play the game properly. Easy clap. Bike. Yep, bike. Nubelion. Oh. Sure. We found the purely wincon? It looks like it. I, to this day, I don't understand why they don't play more hand traps in purely. It feels like you just want to go for the draw two, three, four cards combo and just have hand traps. I don't understand why there's only like Ash and Maxi in all their decks. This deck in OCG makes Nat Beast. Uh, oh, that's a uh, that's not a very that's that's not a very bad card against my deck. I think that's like above average against my deck. I guess that's why it has Dark Ruler, right? That's probably why it has Dark Ruler. Okay, Magnamut has been summoned. Is Mourner something they play? Marcus Hayden, thank you for the gifts. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, I need to draw with Maxi. Okay. Yep. I mean, I can only draw Ash, so I assume I'm dying.
spot. I'm I'm getting the I'm getting the vibes here that they don't know what the deck does. <laughs> If you have no spell traps in your graveyard, you can discard this card, add a super heavy samurai from your deck to your hand, except the bike. Except bike. Add another Vakushi. Okay, that's once per turn. Are they pendulum summoning? No. Wakushi effect. This is legal now, I think. Yes. Oh, I draw. Yeah. Why did you summon to the zone that it points to? Now you can't pend. <laughs> also, you can't summon the Lubellion. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a mess of a game. Okay, now you're Urte. Okay. okay. <laughs> the thing is, I still lose, I think. They're almost there. They almost have enough damage. That's <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, now you can. I'm almost... Um, it's still almost game. Oh. Ash. Effect. What's that effect? No spell traps in the grave. Discard a monster. Target a super heavy samurai in your grave. Special summon it to your zone. This card points to. Okay. It, it's fine. Let him do it. We just act like the. Just let's just pretend that this potter is not there. Okay. Let's just pretend that this potter is over here. Okay. Let's just pretend it's here. It's whatever. It's it's fine. <laughs> I I let's not bother. Okay. Uh, we draw cards. What is uh, it's yeah, we draw we we draw many cards. We draw many cards, but none of the none of them have mattered. We have died. Yeah, we have died. <laughs> we have died. <laughs> GG. Okay. Uh yeah. Just just act like that this pattern is over here. All good. They all good. They probably just they probably played the deck for the first time. It's okay. We are uh, we have lost again. <laughs> we have lost again. Uh I'ma switch decks. <laughs> Cause surely it's the deck's fault. Or the format's fault. But before we before we switch, I have food. I have food, Pog. So we're gonna. We're going to watch a video and uh, do a lunch break real quick. I thought, why not watch Jesse Cotton's top 16 deck profile during lunch? Because Jesse Cotton has lied to all of us. Jesse Cotton has lied to all of us. He played Cash Tira at the YCS, even though he said the deck was, was awful. So what, what's, 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 what about that? What's for, what's for lunch? It's just... Uh... It's leftovers from yesterday. It's uh, potatoes and uh, some some veggies and sauce. Uh, it was good. Uh, okay, so we're going to watch this profile real quick and then we will continue, hopefully... No, we will not continue losing. We will, we will only win. We will only win. Truly. Surely we cannot lose after lunch. It's just because I haven't eaten yet that we keep losing. Volume yes, check. Back here with Luxury Gaming. Okay, that's very low. I just played Weiss's Lima 2023 and ended up in top 16. 
Um, yeah, I played Cash Tira, and I've been hating on that, that deck a lot, but... Okay, it's very low, and I still don't have the voice meter extension thingy, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my... I'm gonna make my, uh, my mic a little bit lower so that you guys can turn the stream up more, right? So the, they are fine in relation to each other, okay? I just filmed it in for this event and decided to play it anyways. Uh, if you want to hear a more in-depth explanation on why I chose that cash tier in, in particular, you can check out my channel, Jesse Cotton Yu-Gi-Oh! or Jesse Cotton YGO. Um, and the explanation will be there. But for YCS decklists, this is the place to be. Subscribe here as well. And then before I begin, here's thanks to Luxury Gaming for sponsoring me for these events. Very much appreciated. Makes it possible. Anyways, yeah, I'll get into the deck. Um, okay. This is slightly different. Best player in the TCG, worst player in the OCG. I don't know if I'm supposed to say thank you or or if, if I'm supposed to be insulted, but hey, thank you for the bits. Then some other cash tier decks, but for the most part, it's normal. Um, this should be standard. There's three of each of these. Uh, one Ogre, one Scary Claw. Uh, I'm not playing Tiamat and Kash because I don't think you need the extender like that. This one is definitely the better one because it can beat the Guska. Uh, and then sometimes this is also just bigger. Um, and then I played one rise heart only. I'm oh, sorry, one rise heart. Um, even though sometimes it calls <laughs> the sound, dude. Armin Gibbs, thank you for the prime. Appreciate you. One rise heart almost with birth. It's typically not a good starter and it's not a great extender. Uh, so I didn't want to play multiple and even. Though I play another card that may banish it face down. If it gets banished face down and you have just Unicorn, you can just go Unicorn. Where's the sound from? It was one of the uh, the AI president debates. Someone put that in and we, we used it as the sub sound immediately. Uh, Theosis for Fenrir add this and it also makes a Rise Heart. Uh, that's important because I'm like not doing full full combo like almost ever. Uh, where I play this deck is like a Zodiac deck where I'm trying to go dry and pass and just try, try to play the control game with power spells um, and then win that way. Uh, worked pretty well for me. I almost never went Shangri Era on my own first turn. Um, and you, if you don't do these flashy plays, this card's not as important. Um, yeah, no regrets there. I never really missed it, even when they got banished face down. So for the other piece of the engine, I've got obviously this. No Scare Claw Field spell, because I don't think they're good enough. I'd just rather play other cards. Um, you want to play a lot of non-engine in this deck because that's why it's like a decent deck in theory is you can play a lot of non-engine uh, and then a lot of these cards are just good by themselves like one field spell or one Fenrir, one unicorn. Uh, then this is standard for the engine. I am still playing these because if you're playing a grind game deck then this is great in a grind game. It's also good against... I thought about this this morning. A card in their hand. When, uh, when you play Kash Tira... And you decide to go for the uh, the combo where you where you always play around Nibiru, which in my opinion is the better way to play Kashtira right now. Um, if you do that, do you even need Big Bang? I feel like you do, you might not need it. Maybe you still want it for some other scenarios, but on the first turn combo, you don't really need it, right? And uh, it could be the Naturia if they only have the one, or something else if not. Um, but yeah, being able to constantly summon is nice. And then even if I'm not going for the combo, this is good. Because if your hand is lacking disruption, um, then instead of banishing Papias off a Rise Heart. So yeah, you can, when you do the standard or Rise Heart play, you'll go this and you'll be presented with a choice of banishing IVs from the deck. Pretty much you have to decide. I mean, yeah, you, whatever you banish off of Rise Heart, you probably just attach later with a Rise Heart, right? And so... If you attach Big Bang, you can summon a material from a Rise Heart, basically, on the opponent's turn for more disruption, which I guess can still be worth it. Which one do you want to attach to a Rise Heart later on in the turn? Um, Teosis will give you a back uh, a Fenrir or Unicorn for follow-up. Um, and Big Bang will let you special summon a material under it, so it could be the Fenrir or Unicorn. Uh, so if your hand is light on disruption but has follow-up, then you want to go for Big Bang. Um, and then this is the opposite. Uh, for when you want more follow up, uh, and then sometimes it's also just a decent disruption card to search. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is a little murky, but it's fine. Uh, and then also going second, you kind of want it to play through fields, that's you just kind of play more powerfully, especially when at that point you can make a read. There's no Nibiru, you don't feel bad playing aggressively. Uh, and then because this deck is not fully consistent, it's a lot of one card starters, but not like enough for me to be happy. 
You obviously have the pots. And expanding upon Ooh. that is desires as well. Um, Ooh. It's pot of greed. The main reason... I shouldn't have to argue why pot of greed is good. The reason you wouldn't want to play with pot of desires is the downside advantage in 10. So we have to ask, is that worth it? Uh, and anything we really want to need in our deck to play three of, at which point this is fine. The things that we'd be scared of banishing are one of, so like these... Uh, and honestly, like if you banish any one of them, they're not that big of a deal. I don't know where the rise heart is. Oh, the rise mm -hmm. heart somewhere there. Um, I think you can probably handle losing one of those cards. You can probably banish. You can probably banish one of those cards and be fine. You can get them back into circulation with a rise heart, like Big Bang specifically is like relatively easy to get back. Mm, yeah, it, it's it could be okay actually to play desires in the deck. Huh? On the other hand, wouldn't you be able to? Uh, wouldn't you be able to just play extravagance if you really wanted to? Couldn't you do that as well? If you because if you only go for the Arise Heart line, isn't that like the one card you care about most? Just just play three Arise and and play Extravagance. I feel like you could do that. But you don't need them to win. You can like switch off your. Well, plays. yeah. If you banish three Arise Heart, you're dead. Yeah, but like, uh, just don't. It's not do. a big deal. Just and don't. Having access to the Pot of Greed, increased consistency for non-engine and engine is just fantastic. Um, now you may ask, may ask, is five pots too much? No, uh, I have a video on my channel called Why Heart of the Cards is Rubbish. Uh, talking about why five is like my magic number for things I only want to draw exactly one of. This is kind of a thing, five pots. Um, I only need like bricks on the pots like twice. And the one time is still fine, like the rest of my cards are still good enough. Uh, and then a couple, there were, like two times where I had both of these and I used, forced one through like an interrupt, like Desires got Ashed or got Apex Avian one time. And then I used this and it's fine. Um, it's like you can't bait it out. Most people will negate Desires. Doesn't desires conflict with prosp? Um, I mean, yeah, if you draw both. But what he's saying right now is fairly true. That if if two cards conflict, it doesn't mean you can't play them in the same deck. It just means you can't play too many of these types of cards. Because, like he's saying, you want to draw exactly one prosperity, uh, one pot, right? You you if you can if you can uh, decide on an opening hand, or if you could. Decide your opening hand, it would probably always have one of the pots, right? Because one is just the optimal number, because that way they don't conflict. And you always have the consistency from them. Now, the ideal number to do that is, I mean, there's like no ideal number to do that technically. But like, the idea behind it is the more the better, because you can see them. Um... But the, uh, the less is also better because you don't see multiples, right? And so you kind of want to find that sweet spot. And he thinks that five is that sweet spot where you play five copies, which gives you a, a better chance to draw exactly one, but it doesn't have a super high chance to draw multiples, which I think is, is fine. I think that's a fine uh, assumption to make. I do think that it's particularly weird with desires a little sometimes because with desires you draw more cards so when you draw desires even if you don't draw it together with prosperity you might draw into prosperity which is um which is a like the chance to for that to happen is is like like if you activate a desires and you have four other cards in your deck that you don't want to draw plus some other cards that you might not want to see like big bang and whatever that's kind of mediocre um, with prosperity, the other way around, that does not uh, happen though, because with prosperity, if you if you reveal a desires, you just don't take it, right? But with desires, you do, you don't get to des decide what you what you see, right? Desires, because again, pot of greed is a good card. It's not that's not that's not what's up for debate. Um, so yeah, another thing people asked me was if you get like the lock five combo or lock three combo, um, that if you desires, then you can't. Uh, they'll banish the rest of your deck with Mindhacker. However, your deck is 40 cards. You'll draw six. They'll banish seven off the top of your deck with the combo. Um, so that's 13 cards gone. If you banish 10 off Desires and then draw two, that's another 12 cards gone. That's 25 cards gone. Your deck is 15. Your banish pile 17. 
I can't use my attacker. So you don't actually deck out. In fact, it's less risk than prosperity in that regard because they can't even use the mind hacker now. Um, yeah. Um, happy with, very happy with desires, even though I played a trim engine. Now, obviously, you have to cut something for this. And one of the things I cut was the Arise Heart, which seems counterintuitive, but uh, I did want to maintain a high non engine account because I think that's where this deck needs to be. And then, so for the non engine pieces, I had space for 14. So uh, these will change as the meta adapts, but this is what I felt was good for this tournament. Um, three Ash, I think it's the only like, good hand trap because it hits pretty much everything. Uh, it's very impactful in a lot more situations. It can brick the mirror, even though I decided out in the mirror pretty often. Um, it stops Eclipse, it stops Prosperity, which is a nuts card right now because every deck sucks. Uh, it hits Brand Diffusion. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's one of the, it's the, the best hand trap for sure. Three lands, um, Bead Book of Moons, Imperms, Runic Cards, a lot of those going around. Um, this is more your aggressive card, but also just like ending on Adjust the Rise Heart Pass, your weeks a lot more of the book cards. Uh, and then if you have this plus the Rise Heart, then you get Kaiju really to play, to play through it. Uh, without wasting a bunch. Six books, I think these cards are really good because they're going first and going second options. Mm. They're almost always good. Um, they're decent in every matchup. Or pretty much every matchup, and they're great in some others as well. Um, very happy with these cards, and they were fantastic. Yeah, I think these are just solid cards for now. And this is definitely the, the biggest weakness in, the, in in this deck, um, which is why I feel like you need lands to beat it. This book and mooning is just rough. Like you need multiple cards to play through it, and then it's not even a good play through it. Uh, and then my last few spots was too evenly matched. I don't like the non-engine decisions that much either. Well, I mean, uh, I should, I should, um, I should rephrase. I like all these cards individually, right? I like Book of Moon. I like Book of Eclipse. I like Forbidden Lands. I like Evenly Matched. I like Ash. I don't love the exact constellation here. My problem with this is that basically the only card in your entire deck that stops the the full Cash Tira Zone Lock is Ash Blossom, and even that technically is not guaranteed because they might be able to extend through it uh well even though that's quite hard I, I, if you have ash i assume you're not getting zone locked but like it's a very ballsy decision to make i think to completely ignore the zone lock which is basically what he's doing right which i mean it's fair enough if you think that everyone else if you think that everyone else is is uh, is is on the 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 train where you don't make the full zone lock, you just play around Nibiru and whatnot, then I think this is this is fine. But I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can really do that or if you should do that. It's also that if you are doing everything with spells and traps, the mirror match can become kind of dicey because. What if your opponent draws Forbidden Lands, right? You need, like, multiple books to, to deal with that. Which, I mean, you play six, the chance is not terrible, but, you know. I, I, think, it's, I think it's better to play a mix of, of, uh, of answers in a way where you have answers that also beat the zone lock, but you also have answers for just a Rise Heart, like playing maybe some books and Nibiru or something like that. Of course, if you think everyone is going to... If you think everyone is going to not play into Nibiru, then you shouldn't play the card. I don't think that's true, though. I see a lot of people still going for the full zone lock. Some people... I, see, I, I feel like it's it's always the 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 better... Or the, 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 the best players are like, oh, I can't play into Nib. I can't afford it. The deck is good enough without playing into Nib. I'm just going to make a Rise Heart and pass. But then every once in a while, you have like the... Uh, you have like the... The less experienced players who are just like, ah, they won't have it. You know, they won't have it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to risk it. And then like you, you and just like losing to those people feels really bad. So I don't know. Uh, Real 42. Thank you for the three months. I appreciate you. Welcome back. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's reasonable to to play this. I understand why he did it. Just like uh, observing the meta trend of like some people going for the rise out in three materials. But it's still dangerous. Uh, there were lightning storms at first, but I got talked out of it because of, um, what's it called? Um, and evenly, I don't like actually at all. I think I don't, I don't love evenly. Trap tricks being, unless to, you're expecting a lot uh, of, uh, uh, lightning storm. 
So I decided to play Evenly's over Storms. I still had one Storm in this side because of side patterns, and I wanted a little more for Labyrinth, but this was solid. Um, Shouldn't Kurikara be really good at the moment? Cards like Kurikara are really good. Uh, and Kaijus. Well, what the hell is... There's like a plane outside. It's super loud. Let me wait. Okay, I think it's gone now. We can't hear it? Yeah, because my mic settings are in a way where you can't uh, hear. But for me, it's distracting. Anyways. Uh, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Never mind. Oh, card point one second. It's going to make up the advantage that... Um, they would gain from the tempo. Um, oh, Kurikara and Kaijus. Yes, Kurikara and Kaijus. What I like about those in in theory is that they 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 are good against Kashira no matter what they choose, right? Which is kind of the perfect thing. That's kind of exactly what you want. It's like if they go for the full zone lock, they help. If they don't go to full for the full zone lock, they also help. So it's like it's kind of win win. The only problem with Kurikara and Kaijus are that. They are bad going first, right? They they are not comparable to like a Book of Moon when you go first, right? So I don't know if the ideal card exists, right? I don't really I don't really know if the ideal card exists that's like solid going first, solid against the full zone lock, and solid against if they don't go for the full zone lock. I think the closest thing possible is like hand traps, which is like Ash and Imperm are like they prevent the full zone lock, but they are also kind of good if they don't commit into it, right? So, hand traps are kind of the middle way, but hand traps are not that amazing either, so... I don't know. Where would you put Trap Tricks' format? I think Trap Tricks is a really good, um... I think Trap Tricks is a really good budget deck, but not the best deck if, you're, if, you, if budget doesn't matter. Lancia is nice. I don't think Lancia is main deckable, though. I really don't think so. Mm. I didn't draw it a ton, but it was good most of the time. How important would you rate Zeus, IP, Nib if you could only choose one of those currently? Uh, probably would choose Zeus. You can definitely play without Nib, just play other non-engine. Uh, IP, I guess you can replace. I think Zeus is mandatory if you're if you're playing pure sprite. Time I drew it. I usually don't love this card, but when this deck gets into a grind and you want to play for value, this card is pretty solid. Um, so yeah. So, in that same stats video I talked about... Like I said yesterday, whenever I talk in chat, I get ads. There's not that many ads currently. I did, it, I, did, I did put it relatively low this month for the ad incentive thingy. I, I selected the lowest uh, ones just so we would have less ads. But there's still some. Hey, we got to run some at some point. But there is a very easy way to get around it. There's a very easy way around it. Because uh, if you... If you <laughs> if you support the channel by subscribing with uh, with a free Twitch Prime, you don't get any ads. I always ask why do I play the number I play. That is the way. Uh, it's not that I'm playing too evenly because I want to see it sometimes and not others. That is stupid reasoning. It's because I have space for fourteen. <laughs> okay, total. there we go, Mitchell. Mitchell, thank you for the five gifteds. Thank you for freeing five people from the ads. Easy clap. Cards. That is the number I'm looking at. Not two, it's 14. So I picked the best 14 available. Um, the OCD thing to do may be pick like two, 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 three, three. Uh, make it a little more neat. I don't know, but main point is just... Do you get any money if people use Twitch Nitro? I have no idea, honestly. I don't know what that... I don't even know what that is. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> pick the best cards and then... If this is the worst out of all the best cards, then two. That's like my theory. Just try and be as logic as possible, logic driven. Um, it's not, and it's not that it's a two of because I don't want to see it sometimes. Just making that very clear so people understand what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, main deck is forty. The deck is kind of inconsistent, so I didn't want to go over that. Uh, let's do the extra deck first. Uh, I unfortunately am refilming this deck for Falk because the last one got messed up, and I've since then given back two cards. So I will proxy them in the video. 
uh, Noner, never summoned it, but it's like the clear free field for whatever reason. I don't play Nibiru because I don't think it's very good. Um, I played the entire tournament playing around Nibiru, and I assumed more people would do the same. They didn't, but still, I didn't want to have that constant risk in my deck, so I didn't play it. Um, most of the time I'd be using this is if I got their cards, like they gave me something. That never came up, though. Uh, and then I played four. Will we see any Duelist Cup Master Duel this week? Uh, probably not. I'm not super hyped for this Duelist Cup because they haven't announced that it matters for Worlds or anything. So I'm not really looking forward to playing it. Uh, Physio Germany, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you for the support. Welcome to this uh, to the for channel. Prosperity, it's good to draw. Like if you're follow up, Goliath for simply running Flashing Fire. This is good against, uh, and it means they have to use uh, Freezing Curses. I think it's called to negate a Rise Heart. It's a lot worse for them. Um, it makes it harder for them to clear. They can't bear and pop it either. So wait, or maybe it negates the effect. So then they have to negate it, and then yeah, they have to negate it and then pop it, which is a lot more reasonable for you. It's like a two for one instead. Um, and this is the one that's new, and that's Fossil Wagon or Fossil Machine Skull Wagon. Uh, I want something for Labyrinth where like if you go go for the Rise Art play on a Kaiju, you this goes in grade, and now you can clean up any floodgates. Uh, and it pretty much meant that if you have Prosperity, they can't flood you out of the game super easily, which I feel was your main loss condition versus those trap decks. And you're also still banishing it versus every other matchup as well, and it'll still come up against other decks like in the Mirror, where now if you're playing that grind game, because the Mirror's not actually terrible if both players do the the Respect Nib thing. And this card is nice to clean up the Births, clean up Preparations, or pop up a set card that could be Book of Moon. Or even the Field Spell for the Attack bonus. And then you can keep reattaching it off a of Rise Heart, so it's very good. Um, I was happy with it. This card is way better than I thought it was because it's not once per turn, and it also triggers Theosis and Big Bang. Uh, yeah, this is probably the most summoned non cash tier. Probably most non summoned card besides this. Because I didn't summon Shangri Ra that much. Um, yeah. This is like for occasionally when I want a full combo. Uh, I have to have a really good hand for full comboing. Uh, to be honest, most of the time I will full combo. It's because I have I can end with this in hand, uh, in this face now. Because if you get Nibiru, um, or if I have any way to clear the Arise Heart, you can on their turn, special summon this in the main phase by banishing the Arise Heart, and then this bring back Arise Heart. So you'll still have access to it, and if they keep playing, you'll get the materials, and you know, you'll get everything going again. Um, I still want it in there, obviously, for that. Also, if like I saw a unicorn, one specific card, I can then chase the next one. And then sometimes you can do some deck up nonsense, so no reason not to play it. Um, Shinger Era, this card doesn't come up that much for me because the way I play it, but it's still fine. Surely three Arise Heart, right? Mains, you can crash for Space Zeus on top. Um, and a special summoning and standby face is cool. And then Surely three Arise Heart. Yeah. Um, three Arise Heart. If both players play it, like the Zodiac stuff. Uh, in your opinion, will Paulo and Raph's approach be the trend for this deck? With the increase of hand traps, is there a better way to deal with the two Keshtira approach, zone lock or control? Um, I think, like I said earlier, I think a couple of hand traps are good right now because you wanna, you do want to make sure that like you are prepared against Keshtira no matter what they decide to go for, right? Like, do they go for the full zone lock thing or do they go for just the Arise Heart? You need to be prepared for both. So you want to find some cards. You want to find some cards in the main deck that work either way. Um, and Hand Traps are that type of card. And so I, I could see the Polo Raph list being a little bit more popular because of the advantage that Hand Traps give you in that case, right? You don't have to gamble on hey, is my opponent going to play around Nibiru or is my opponent just a madman and going to ignore Nibiru? Uh, and so you can, like, you can, like, be okay against both, right? And, uh, and, and that's, that's, that's a really good feeling when building your deck. I feel like being, like, that, it just feels very safe to be prepared for both ends of the spectrum. Um, and, yeah, I mean, you can also make the call of, like, hey, I think everyone plays around Nibiru or everyone plays into Nibiru, and that's why I'm going to play my deck this way or that way. I just think it's good to cover both bases. And so I think, uh, I think that that list did that really well. Uh, mirror match, then this is like having a third Dryden't. Uh, it does come up, especially when... if you Yeah, exactly. Hand traps are also good when you go first. <laughs> Uncle Ollie, thank you for the nine months. Appreciate you. 
So I think, long story short, I think currently I like uh, playing three Ash and three Imperm because those cards just seem, while they're not super like game winning on the spot against any matchup except for Ash against Branded, um, I think Ash and Imperm seem very solid overall. Solid enough to the point where you want to include them because they just cover everything, right? Imperm and Ash, they will prevent the full zone lock. So you can just play, you can just play Ash Imperm. And then with the rest of your non-engine, you can focus on specific scenarios. You can be like, okay, uh, I can play Book of Moon because if they go for the full zone lock, I at least have a bunch of outs to that. So I can focus on having outs for just a rise heart as well, like some books or whatever to force them to open Forbidden Lands. If they don't open Forbidden Lands, I can just book it. Um, stuff like that, I think, is pretty solid overall as an approach. Like, a couple of hand traps, and then, um, it, like, honestly, if you're a deck, there's a lot of decks where I would still play Nib. Even if you see some people play around, Ar uh, play around it with the Arise Heart, a lot of people don't, especially, like, some, I think, some weaker players that might think they need the zone lock to win. Uh, might still go for it, which I think is fair enough. Like, sometimes it's, it's okay to do it. Uh, especially if everyone is doing, you know, Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse, then it's okay to go for the zone lock. Um, and then maining Nibiru is very good in decks that that maybe are powerful enough to play through just a Rysard, right? Like, for example, Labyrinth was a deck like that, I think, where you can do that and be like, hey, if they, if they lock my back row, I can't win. So I'm going to play Nibiru to punish them if they do it. And... Um, if they don't do it, if they just make a Rise Art, I'm playing Labyrinth, I can just go set 5 pass and I can maybe win from there, even with a dead Nibiru in hand, right? So I think that's reasonable in some decks. It depends on your deck, Moon Rabbit. It really depends on your deck. If your deck needs like a, an all-rounder card that's always solid, especially also good against Branded, then play Ash. But if it's more if, if what I said just now is more true for your deck or your current build, then you should play probably Nibiru. Like it's not there's not an easy answer to these questions when you're building a deck most of the time. Like every card you put into your deck has a certain uh effect on what your build does and what it doesn't do. And you just you just have to be aware of what Ash does in this current format. Like it makes your deck overall more solid, is live in almost any matchup and whatnot. Um, and if your deck wants that, then do that. And if your deck wants the high risk, high reward type of approach that Nibiru offers, then you might want that. One, and then they break your field, which is not that crazy if you're not doing a strong play. And they go like attack with Unicorn, banish the second. If you don't play a third, you're in a really rough spot because you don't have much follow up besides like big eyeing theirs. Um, I don't love that. So yeah, I'm very happy with three. Two big eye. Um, and two Zeus, these are just for if you get one banished in the mirror, you have the second one. Uh, I use this zero times, and I use this like once, so, or twice, yeah, not, uh, I mean, obviously they're good cards, but really this deck was just throw out this, and then, the re and then, yeah, they can't, they, they waste a billion cards into it, and then Fenrir Unicorn attack next turn, and it's good enough. Um... I'm having a really hard time in choosing if I want to keep Sphere Mode or not in Labyrinth. I'm using it because it can be fetched easily with Duality and Prosperity and can be also used as a 6th drawn card. But in literally 30 or so games, I never resolved it once going 2nd against Kashtira, so I'm wondering if I should just go with the Jesse Cottonway, not respect the zone lock and such. That's the, the question you have to ask yourself is, do you, out of these 30 games where you did not resolve it going 2nd, did you still have, because they played around it, right? But did you still win? Or did you lose because you had a dead sphere mode? Right? Because if you still win those games where they play around it, then it might still be good enough as a safety measure. Because what if they stop playing around it? I think with the current way, I think with the current way the meta golem develops, uh, the meta game develops, uh, I think people will be inclined to go for the zone lock a little bit more often now. Uh, because I see a lot of good players showing off decks that don't have Nibiru. A lot of people still play it, so I'm not sure if it's if it's correct. But I think some people might look at all these deck profiles, uh, especially from like notable players, and be like, "Hey, they all don't play Nibiru. They all play other cards." Um, which is why the the thing is, I think as a as a as a good player, you're kind of biased in this spot. Like I'm in the same spot. I'm like, I as a Cash Tira player. If I'm playing Kashira, I don't want to play into Nib because I think the deck is good enough without it. 
So I'm more leaning towards not playing Nib as the other from the other deck's perspective as well, right? It's like it's it's but because only because you're convinced that you shouldn't go for the five summons doesn't mean that everyone else is convinced. So it's kind of hard to to pinpoint exactly where the community is at right now, right? Like the majority of Cash Jira players, will they go for the combo or will they not? So because I played so few hand traps in the main, I wanted some more stuff to beat the Despia stuff. So I'm not like given a monster. And have you tested have... Apple Dragon, Synchro, or Super Heavy Samurai yet? Uh, from the OCG? No, I've ju I've just been, I've been, uh, I've been destroyed by Super Heavy Samurai once. Even if it's not Gimme Puppet, so that's why I played Contact Siege and Bell and Shifter for that deck. I wanted a lot, uh, and then Ash as well. So you have a lot of recourse for that. Uh, Shifter is good versus any graveyard deck, so I think this card should be standard. I think it's just nuts and so many I think I think Shifter is I think Shifter is like Shifter in Kashtira feels like Droll and Lockbird in other decks, if that makes sense. Because like Droll and Lockbird is like this card that is not that good against the meta right now, or like it's okay against Kashtira, but like main deck I wouldn't run it, but in the side deck it can be really really solid with like. It just beats all the rogue decks, right? And Shifter is the same thing in Cash Tira. Like, you can just play Shifter. It's not good in the mirror match. It's, I guess it's good against Branded if they go for Expulsion stuff. So it's, it's good. But, like, it's not good against Sprite either, I think. Uh, unless they're playing very specific versions that really need the graveyard. Like, maybe, I don't know, Adventure, maybe. Um, but, yeah. But it just, it just destroys all those rogue decks, right? It just destroys... Um, Dark World, I'm pretty sure you would also cite it against Math Mech. It's probably even good against Adagnister because they keep adding stuff back from the graveyard and like Dark Templar and whatnot. Uh, it's good against Runix. Like it just beats all of the, like all of them, right? And so like Shifter should probably be a side deck card. It hits other stuff as well. Like hits Fountain, it hits the Labyrinth stuff. And it can come just not because of one specific of matchup, just the, because of all of them combined. Uh, as an above average card, and that's fine. Uh, are people even playing Dark World? I think so. Yeah, I think there are some some people that play Dark World. Rolling, then I'm very okay with that. Uh, and this card sucks because I'm playing Vespia, but that was just the theory. I, I, I don't know if I'd put it in inverse anything else, not the mirror match. In the mirror, I'm, I'm I didn't like flying seeing the zoom mirror, and this is the same. Instead, I'm trying to uh, break the field and prevent it. Um, so. This is supposed to be second econ. I have to give it back. Um, I'll play, play through fields, and these can come in for even these as well in certain matchups for going first. Uh, it's just disruption, which is good, especially if you get kaiju, and then it turns the kaiju into something. And it also cleans up your fields. The kaiju's not stuck there anymore. Uh, and then going uh, second also beats Ibli, uh, which did happen to me once. Sorry, uh, econ should beat Ibli to all Shangri era. That's pretty good. Um, I think another time in a rise hard. How is Contact um, C versus Runic Naturia? Pretty bad. <laughs> pretty, pretty darn bad. Playing the third one of the Change of Heart, but I got to all Change of Heart, which is the better card. I'm not fully sure about that. I like Econ a lot as a card. It's one of my favorite cards of all time. I never drew this, though, so I can't really confirm if this would have been worse. Um, just something to know. Um, but yeah, it's based for three steel cards, essentially what it was. And then I and I was told this one was best, and then this was second best, so that's what I went with. Uh, and then I wanted three more back row removals, and I like the blowout style of these cards. So uh, I feel this was the best one. And then I was already thinking this was better versus... Okay, I mean, overall, still a very solid deck. I, I don't know if I like the exact uh, decisions on all the non-engine combined, but I, I still think it's a solid approach. Uh, I do think it is good overall to build your deck in a way where you expect to not commit into Nibiru most of the time, like with less Rise Hearts and whatnot, just a little less combo heavy. Just, dude, it's... It's really, I, I feel like it's not necessary because it's like, yeah, the, the full zone lock looks very fancy and whatnot, but you just risk losing the game to one singular card that a lot of people are using. Nib, Lava Golem, Sphere Mode. And uh, a Rise Hard Pass with a bunch of non-engine is so strong. It's like, it's so good. Anyways... Let me turn back on some music and we continue with some troll despair.
We continue with some troll despair. What do we play next? Because I'm not playing purely again. Nah. What else do we have? I want to play that... I want to play that bestial sprite deck. Where is the bestial sprite deck? Where is the bestial sprite synchro? Where do I find that? Now you know what we feel. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I probably didn't play those games perfectly, but it does feel really coin flippy. It does feel really coin flippy. Sprite Tribigate? No, that's not what I want. Bestial Dragon Link? No, where's the Bestial Sprite deck? Oh. Yeah, that's what I need. That's what I need. This is what I need. Okay. I found it. Thank you, Vlad. This is what I need. OCG Bestial Sprite. Uh, set as default in the beginning. Alright, let me quickly copy that. Alright, we have some Bestials. Alright, they're playing... They're playing three Lubs, three Saroniers. Uh, one Magna, one Druis, one Drake. Oh yeah, Magna is limited, right? No, there's no way they would not play three, right? They're, they're, that's limited, right? Uh, and then we have this Pata. We have three blue, one Jet, one Carrot, one Red, one Smashers, and no Starter. Is Starter banned? Limit? Where? Where do I... More options. Oh, OCG. There you go. Uh, yeah, it's one. Starter is at one, and they they don't even play it. Okay, well. Uh, we have branded. We have Brandon regained and Brandon Beast. We have Cyber's Gadget. We have Apple Dragon. Ringo Worm, the 100 Apple Dragon. We have Shinobi Necro. As a one of. And we have, I think that's called Assault Synchron. Yeah, Assault Synchron. Kaliga Crow. Prosperities. Two Prosperities. A one droll and lockbird with a cross out with a talents as well. Lots of Unos. Uh one called by, even though that card's at two. Alright, noted, noted. And then of course we take part in the minigame. Uh, in the extra deck, we play uh, an elf, a sprint, a gigantic, a uh, Zeus, chaos ruler. I think there's more chaos here. This chaos angel. Mm, yep. Baron the Fleur. Cupid Pitch. Oh, does that search Kaliga Claw Crow? Oh my god, dude, the technology. Omega. Changing. Coral Dragon. Uh, Almirage. Linguribo. What's the Linguribo for? Are, is that because people are doing Ibli stuff? Oh no, we need Cyber's Gadget, of course. Goddess. Okay, that's the brew. That is the brew. Mm, 
That's the brew. Let me quickly read up on the cards that I don't know. Ringo Worm, the 100 Apple Dragon. If a face-up non-effect monster is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh, that works with the token from Cyber's Gadget. Does that work with anything else? Or is that just the token from Cyber's Gadget? Uh, if... No, I mean in this deck now, not in general. I mean in this deck right now. Am I missing something? Probably not, right? Uh, during your main phase, if you synchro summon a synchro monster uh, this turn, you can banish this card from your grave, special summon a hundred apple token, level two. You can, if you use this token as synchro material, you can treat it as a tuner. You can only use each effect of Ringo Worm once per turn. Okay. Now, Assault Synchron is during your main phase, special summon this card from your hand, then take 700, then you're locked into synchros while it's on the field. If a face-up dragon synchro monster you control is tributed or banished, uh, you can banish this card from the grave, target one of those, special summon it. This card is insane, by the way. Uh, they don't play the new Stardust, no. And then this Potter is one tuner plus one non-tuner dragon, and it's level 10. Uh, ban uh, revives a banished light or dark when your opponent acts. That's the that one, okay. And Chaos Angel is the one that does not need. Um, that technically doesn't need a tuner for this card. Synchro summon. You can treat a light or dark monster as a tuner. If this card is special summon, target a card on the field. Banish it. This card. This card gains these effects. Okay. Okay, that seems fine. All right, let's get cooking. Uh, dual password, as always, Josh. Challengers approach. Let's go. All right, this is actually... I, I'm pretty sure demo is from the OCG. So we have an expert here. We have an expert over here. Stop copying my... Stop! Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, the hand can play, surely. The hand can play. I'm just not quite sure what our end goal even is. Because if this was TCG, I would just go like, I don't know, sprint, send, angler and whatnot. I don't know what we're doing. We, we don't have tuners. We don't have tuners. Do you get tuner access? I mean, we could go... Can we? I don't know we can. Sprint send Ringo and then elf it back? That seems very, very... Cost intensive. But we can... We normal summon carrot every time, right? That's our, That's how we start, right? We normal summon carrot. We normal summon carrot. We see if we get max seed. No response. Special this effect. We also drew smashers, so we have no target for jet. We have no target for jet. Uh, so we grab red. Sprint ninja into chaos ruler. All oh, right, we can sprint, send shinobi, and then banish it for magna. Woo! Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to keep red around. Do we keep red or carrot around? Or we could also keep both. We could, we could keep both. If I go Lubelion into Soronir, summon Soronir by banishing Lubelion, which I guess I don't want to banish Lubelion. Let's not banish, let's not banish our Lubelion. We are simply not going to get impermed on this. Shinobi, Necro. Uh, I guess we just go Magna first. Effect Magna. Target Shinobi. Banish. Special. F. 
F So now it's just uh Gamba Ash Chaos Ruler. Do we accept that? Do we accept that? Or do we read that? No, I want to. I want to. I want to do this. We do not accept that. Mil cinco. Ooh. Uh, well, probably. A, I mean, it's Bestial or Kaliga Crow. Do I want Kaliga Crow? What's the point of Kaliga Crow here? Damn, this deck kind of sucks without tuners. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Add Crow to make Chaos Angel? I mean... Okay, so... Chaos Angel... Target a card on the field, banish it. But what's the point, dude? It's just, your monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. Uh, I, I thought we, I thought we go, I thought we would go, uh, elf at some point in time. But we have no tuners. Let's use Lubelion to grab Saronir. I can I can get a regain draw. I can get a regained draw with Saronir. Tribute Saronir for Lubelion. No, tribute Chaos Ruler. Oh, what the hell are we doing? Monka S. You will draw you will draw assault for sure, yeah. But then I don't get beast. Hold up. Hold up. So we get beast. Right? And then we summon Soronir. Banish... Druisworm? No. No, 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 no. We want Druisworm. The second Lubelion? Do we need the light right now? I mean, you can banish Magnemoot, actually, because Magnemoot can't search Magnemoot. No, wait. We need that, too. Ah, let's just banish blue, dude. We don't need blue. So, I'm summoning this. And then... We make Elf. Rest in peace. And then this... Sends... Regained. Set. Uh, elf, elf brings back Karot, and then I mean I think it's okay. Like we could bring back Chaos Ruler, but there's no real reason to. It doesn't do anything. I guess this as is as good as it gets for no tuner. It's not that bad for no tuner for like not drawing a tuner card. 
Because we also have this and we have Magnamut at uh, Druid Swarm. So, like, I mean, Monster Negate, Spell Negate, Pop, Send, Banish, Draw. Unexpected Die. Now, what do you mean by that? Now, what do you mean by that? Uh, yes. Plants? Huh. Yeah. Dry ass. Adds a sunvine spell trap. You go, king. Sewing. Yes. Oh wait, regained. If your opponent normals or special summons, twin one, dryas two. Uh regained three. Does this target? No. Uh, and then we activate Magna. Thing is, as I, I, I'm not doing anything because I want to keep my Carrot Negate. And I feel like as soon as they go for, like, Jasmine... As soon as they go for Jasmine, I can just Beast... I can summon Druids, Beast, pop it. Uh... During your main phase, target a record... Uh, Add it to hand or special it. Uh... If a plant link monster would be destroyed by a battle, yeah, but like Druid Swarm sends, it doesn't destroy. Uh... That's that's okay. That's okay. Should destroy Dryas and chain to sewing? Maybe. Uh okay, here. Here is what we're what we need to do. Hold up, hold up. So effect Druid's worm. We target, I don't know, our Lubelion. We have two. No, we need the light, maybe. Let's target Saron here. Target Saron here, because we have multiples. Uh, so they say, okay. So we summon this. Banish Saron here. Activate regained. That is bottom of the deck. Draw one. Hello. And then this tribute this. Target a card your opponent controls. I think we target pedal because they need it on the field for princess, right? Right? And then we declare Druis Worm on this. 
And then we discard the maxi. Is this no banlist or something? Basically, it's OCG. We're we're looking at the OCG metagame today. I will say this deck so far, even though we didn't pull off the full combo, this deck looks based. This deck, like no like no cap, this deck looks very fun. If this was in the TCG, I would enjoy the hell out of this. I would enjoy the I would enjoy the hell out of this deck. Needs Chaos Ruler to work? Probably. I don't know if there's a level 8 Synchro that you can replace that with. Uh, you can have special summon except plants. Sure. Hola. Links off into Dan Spion. Uh, casually draw a, tra uh, a hand trap, by the way. Excavate that many cards from the top of your deck. Special summon up to two. That, that, I can ash that, right? Because it is technically a special summon from the deck. I'll just ash it. I will just show you that I just drew ash. Easy clap. Uh, Chain Elf. Target Kaliga Crow. Because I want to negate the Mudan on the field. By tributing Elf. Wait. First we draw, and then we use that. that. Force them to use their Rekka Princess. I mean, they have to do it at some point. Yeah. Uh, because it also tributes the thingy and it doesn't destroy, right? So they get Konkon, which I can just smashers, I guess. Why not summon Sprint? Ah, maybe. Uh, I guess I just, I guess I just, I have to smashers this, right? I should have brought back Elf because then I could have popped it with Carrot. Can one Mudan do anything? Can one Mudan do anything? Am I free to just do this? I don't think it does anything. <laughs> we won a game we won a game in OCG land because we top deck maxi <laughs> okay let's play the deck again <laughs> we are champions alright join up where is everybody? So now you don't want to play anymore. Okay, I see. Let's go, Quantal. I think DB's lagging. Mm, there we go. No, we lost. 
Can we post the list in Discord real quick? I can... I'll post it later, the, the stuff that we used. Oh, we have Maxi. We're the best. We're the best. Wagon. Am I supposed to, uh, am I supposed to maxi on, uh, am I supposed to maxi on open game state or do they, tr do they play into it? Maxi now. Okay. I have maxied. Oh, it resolved. We're winning, chat. I think. Oh. I have no tuner again. Can we kill them? I will kill them. You will die. Painful dead death. They're humming. T D Crow. Uh, I mean, sure. F. Draw. Actually, we could have done more damage, but... Fine. Hello? Game! Nah, DB is struggling today, dude. Please give me gigantic sprite! For the love of God! Let me have gigantic sprite. Oh. 
please. Give me gigantic sprite. I want a gigantic sprite so bad. Uh. Hey, how's life chat? How's school? How's work? What's going on? Everything all right? Everyone fine? Everyone good? Enjoying the stream today? Can I reload DB? Can you just reload or do you lose if you do that? Where's that? Okay, now Gigantic is gone. Gigantic no more. Just proxy it. Okay, I will just act like it's here. Print. Equal gigantic. Eh. Uh, I wanted to summon blue into carrot into elf. Or I just summon carrot. Ah. Screw it. Elf. Surely we're fine. They only have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards in hand. They only have 11 cards. They're drawing to 12. It's okay, I think. We're fine. We're good. We have Red Carrot, Smashers, Maxi, Lockbird, Bestial. We're fine, chat. We're fine. Maxi. Easy clap. Uh, Effect Red. See, our maxi has resolved. We're super fine. We're omega giga fine. The carrot is a vanilla. Oh, the deck doesn't play spells? I didn't know. I was, I was trying to play around called by the grave, but... You don't have any more hand traps? You don't know that. There's hand traps in my deck. What is that? Pendulum. Okay. On on a more uh, on a on a positive note, 
On a positive note, they have now only five cards left in hand. Not ten anymore. On the other, on the other side, those cards that went missing from their hand have found all have their have found their way onto the field all every single one of them so that's not great on the positive note they did draw ancient gear box yeah so enjoy your brick dude enjoy your horrible bricky card i draw for that I'm not going to lock bird because I need more cards. Maybe if we can draw a billion bestials, we can survive. Surely. I, I. Why does this deck randomly have pendulum scales? What the hell were they thinking? Why is this called scales? But it's not a scale. Why does it feel like... Why am I switching decks and it still feels like we're always playing maxi mirror matches? I'm, I have so many questions. Oh. What'd he do? Spare some level 2 or lower tuner from your grave. Changing one Stardust, changing two Soul. Aye, aye. Draw. Ringo. Uh, on summon. Wait, I used red already. Oh, okay. I thought I could red for some reason, but I could not. Can I draw something relevant? I play like a bunch of bestials. Please, for the love of God, give me like Baldrake, Magnumut, Drizworm. Where are they? Make it stop. Isn't their Baron unaffected? Why? No, that's not what it does. If you make a Stardust Dragon with Axel Synchron, then it would be, right? But it, that, that can only summon Stardust Dragon. They just heart made their own. That's not unaffected. Yeah, whatever that does. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. No, that's not the best deal I wanted. Yeah, this should have been here. He runs FTK just in case. Wait, there's an FTK? Need to calc 8k. Stop calcing. Calcing's not not fair. What is that? You can target a super heavy samurai monster. You control equip this monster. Also, it can be destroyed. If this card is in your grave, you can banish all super heavy samurai soul breaker armors from your grave. Target a super heavy samurai on the field whose current defense is lower than its original defense. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the difference between its current defense and original defense. Uh, okay. 
What is happening in the OCG? I I have no idea, dude. This whole this whole I um Yeah. Okay. Mascarena. Whee. My problem is I have too many cards. See, chat? See? We, we, uh, we are big brains with what we did earlier. We gave them... We, 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 yeah. Uh, sec. The soul piercer can't be there. This summons. Who is? I mean, it just means they have to link off. Uh, you have to, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've drawn one, two, three, four, five, six, eight cards with Maxi, and I've not found a relevant hand trap. Because I had Saron there already, but I, pl I play Ash and uh, more other bestials. Oh my god, they're making Underworld Goddess? Okay, what the hell is going on? What's happening? Okay, they summon something first. Normal? Wait, what just happened? You linked off this, this, this. I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's whatever. I don't know what I don't know what any of this does. Uh, Toast Lol, thank you for the four months. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh, a hand trap. <laughs> I don't know if it's that nice, dude. I'm not having that much fun in in OCG land right now. But thank you for the seven, Hakan. Appreciate that. Attack position, Bugusta. Monka S, yeah. Battle phase! The phase of battles. Uh, effect. I guess. Target your IP. Do I live? Do I really live? Yeah, I don't know either, dude. Sorry. Uh, effect. Send another Lubellion. This attacks. Effect Magna. Uh, I'm banishing... From your grave. You can't throw that.
Uh, Akunum, thank you for the 11 months, though. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Effect Magna, and then I lose Magna to Goddess. Yo, we've only taken 2100 damage, chat. <laughs> Bro. Why is there DD Crows? Zeus! Are we winning? Uh oh. Uh oh. Why not take 3k and keep Magna? Uh, I, you mean instead of. I guess I could have just summoned this in attack against Baguska. How is there so many different Super Heavy Samurais? I swear to God, you've used like more than 40 different Super Heavy Samurais, even though your deck's only 40 cards. How many are there? There are over 50 Super Heavy Samurais. That is insane. Why? Why? Who asked for this? No one did. No one did. There's apparently, apparently there's 50 different Super Heavy Samurais and you can use all of them with one, like it's like a one card combo to use all of them. Holy shit. Oh. Magna, I guess. Hold up. Uh, Magna add. Uh, I want the Druid's form. I didn't draw it anyway, so it's fine. Uh, okay, we have a lot of cards. No one complains about how many black wings. Oh, I complain about black wings. Have you ever seen me play card guesser when there's a black wing I don't know? Oh, I have. I have. Okay, so there's a Zeus. Okay. Uh Surely we have to win this. No shot we don't. Lubellion of effect. Add Baldrake. I mean, brother in Christ, we have three bestials, normal summon cybers gadget to revive. Assault Synchron, Ringo Worm, like Okay, blue is dead. Blue has no search target, but it is an extender. Surely we are of the winning variety right now. Uh, there's a DD Crow at least. There's at least a DD Crow. Uh, so that's why I don't really want to start with Druid Swarm. I kind of want Druid Swarm on the field. But if they Crow, they prevent it. I don't want that, but... We shall see. We start with uh, Regained. Uh, and then... 
I guess if I if I Druid Swarm, they will just crow me. But maybe that's fine. Oh, we can go uh we can Druid Swarm target jet. And then activate regain to put Jad back into the deck so we can have a search target for blue. Naturally. Uh... So now... We go Saronier, target Saronier, banish it, special Saronier, Special this. Uh, special summon this from your hand. Take 700. Is that okay business? Quantal think? It's funny how we still ha do not have access... No, we have Shinobi Necro, actually. I think we're winning. Baron the Fleur. Effect target Zeus. Get rid of that. They chain Zeus. Well, of course, yeah. Happy to what? Why? They might have gamma. I mean... Normal summon the gadget that is Cyber's effect. Bring back... Maxi. <laughs> Just for dominance. Uh, wait, we should bring back a tuner. Never mind. I'm joking. Uh, we should bring back a tuner. Then we special summon blue effect because of the five head play we did earlier. We can now search jet. Oh my god. Uh. Now, I guess we can make Chaos Ruler. <laughs> this deck is crazy. We can make Chaos Ruler. Boom, boom, boom. And then we go Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2. We get the token. We mill five. Pop, 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 pop. None of that is some is anything we need, but doesn't matter. Give me that. Then we can special summon Ringo Worm. What does that do? Banish this card. Get a token. Oh yeah. I'm a little scared of Nibiru, but they don't play that, right? That's not real. Nibiru ain't real, right? 
Surely not. Cheng Ying, target a banished light or dark special summon it to your field. Bop. Uh... Then special jet. This deck is so random. How is everything here? Uh, effect special Soronier. Uh. But well, we can negate the uh, we can negate Nib now. Yeah, we can negate Nib with this Potter. Ah. We're the best! <laughs> this thing is great! This thing is awesome! Bro, I feel like... I feel like the games, unironically, would be very fun if they're just like if they just took away like some of the really degenerate stuff and Max C, which I guess if you do that, you just get the TCG. <laughs> if you do that, you just get the TCG. <laughs> this thing is great, though. I'm looking forward to these cards, dude. Without Max C, would have died game one. I mean, like, that's why I'm saying, like, they if they remove Max C, they also need to remove a lot of other degenerate stuff, including the super heavy samurai stuff. Like, the, 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 the super heavy samurai stuff seems, like, so stupid. Right? But, like, this deck honestly seems really cool. Not playing the new Stardust? Don't question the list. I'm just net decking from... I'm net decking from... Different OCG events. Okay, let me play something. How long do we have left? Oh, we still have time. Let me let me play something like. Come on, let's let's do this. This won a tournament. Surely this is great. We're gonna we're gonna mess this up so bad. OCG junk doppel. We're gonna mess this up so badly, dude. It's gonna be great. Speeder. What do I, what do, uh, speeder, junk, synchron, as a one of, is there any other junks here? No, right? Oh, this is here, junk converter, yeah. Mm. That's that. Let me just type the word synchron. We, we probably find everything. Two jet synchrons. Three stardust synchrons. Wait, there's only this few synchrons? What else is there? Uh, what is this? What is this little light monster? Worm synchron. No. Stardust something? Okay, Stardust. Uh, there's Stardust Trail and Stardust Worm. That's the one. And then from the extra deck, we have the this thing. Oh, God. Okay. Tuning. Let me pull it up on a second screen. 
so it's faster. Okay, then we have Doppel Warrior. Uh, we have Cat Eve or whatever. Wait, was it called? Is it not called? Oh, Catch Eve. Uh, mathematician based. No, of course. Uh, Ash. Max C. Called by the grave. Cross out. <laughs> Foolish. It feels like no one's playing Nip. Imagine you go there and you just nip them. And they just like read that card for the first time. And they're like, yo, that's crazy that you just did that. That's a crazy thing you just did, like using Nibiru. Uh, one ball drake and one stardust. I think that's the stardust card. Illumination. Okay, this is going to be madness. I'm, I'm going to have no idea how to play this. Okay, uh, there's double star shaman. There is metal marcher or something. Yep, there is... The cat, what's the cat synchro thingy called? Uh, monster synchro three, three. Sorrow cat, that one. There's Liberian. Axel synchron. Cupid pitch. Uh, this deck is insane. What's the goal of this deck? Do we hand loop with Trishula and Omega? Uh, bunch of level 10 synchros. I think it's faster if I search them that way. Wait, oh. Uh, we have Baron. Chaos Angel. Dispata. Chaos Ruler. And shooting riser. That's the deck. That's the deck, and I have no idea how it works. Great. Let's let's pop off. Let's let's pop off without even reading. Okay. Let's go. Who wants to face me? Here's the combo tutorial. That's 15 minutes. <laughs> Can I play? No. Mm hmm So... This card start us normal snow? Uh, what do you mean this card start us? If this card's in your hand or grave, tribute a monster, special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Also, you cannot specially accept synchros. Normal Synchron Tribute for... But that's two tuners. This is also a tuner. Send a Stardust Monster from your deck to the grave. You can banish this card from the grave. Target a Stardust. Increase it by one. Illumination Send Trail. Let me quickly read Trail.
if a monster you control is tributed, you can special summon this card from hand or grave, but banish it. If a warrior is synchro summoned, you can special... Wait, I can... Can I not go illumination? Send that? Tribute my synchron for another synchron? Because sending this doesn't do anything. So I send Stardust Trail. And then I declare this. Tribute a monster. Special summon this card. And then I can... Affect Stardust Trail. And then... Chaos Ruler? If... Is Synchro... But then we don't get the effect. Special Summon the Stardust token. We don't get the token, but we get... I mean, what... I don't know. I don't even know what we want to find with, uh, with, with this, but... Effect. Effect. Don't don't think on me, dude. <gasps> Are we God Gamers? I think we're god gamers. And now what? Now what? Synchro 3, bring back assault, make speeder? That's not how that works. This card is also a tuner. Bestial Synchro... <gasps> no, that's not a tuner, though. Metal Marcher into Doppel? Stop! Please stop recommending Illegal Place. This has to bring back a tuner from the graveyard. The tuner should be banished? Wait, why, why should it be? Oh, but banish it when it leaves the field. Right, okay. Banish it when it leaves the field. So... We make this potter. And then we use this potter to bring back Stardust Synchron. Oh my god, we got there! We have speeder, but now what? Don't no, don't say thinking. No. Ah god damn it. Uh <sighs> that card is limited, by the way. I just want you to know that.
Uh, blue effect. I mean, the thing is, I, yeah. I'm just gonna pop it because they can just grab red anyways. They can just grab red anyways. That maxi wouldn't work if it was Master Duel. Actually, they have the same number of outs in the OCG as Master Duel. Uh, blue still adds. Potter only pops. Still gigantic. Oh! What do you mean? Maxi is so weird, dude. I hate speeder is in that zone. Okay. Well, we have uh we have successfully uh annoyed them, chat. Do we die? I don't think we die. They're already locked into level two. We have a this potter. They have to banish that with a smashers. Most likely. Oh, wait, what? Why are you so annoyed by that? How are you this annoyed by the speeder? How could it possibly... How could it possibly be so annoying for you? Oh, Mosquito is gonna kill us! Ah, Mosquito might... Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna ash that. I'm gonna ash the uh kit. They banish the dragon, you just bring it back with oh right. Oh, that's also on the opponent's turn. Yeah, right. True. Wait, do we win? There's no way our super omega scuffed hand wins here. No shot. That's not... That's not right. Yeah. How? Red. Well, that red ain't gonna save you, dude. <laughs> that red ain't gonna save you. I'm actually scared. I wish... I wish we would have died. Wait, why is it? No, it's 3k, right? It's 3k, yeah. Okay. Um...
I mean, one for one, discard Fairy Tail Snow. Pop off, King. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but we, it seems like we have we, we are supposed to have everything. I feel like one for one, discard Fairy Tail Snow. Uh, we have only one target for this, which is Stardust Worm. If this card's in your hand or grave and you control a level 8 or higher Dragon Synchro, you can special summon this card, banish it, you can do this card, okay. Noted. Now, how do we cook? I want to Trishula them. I want to Trishula them really badly. But I do not know how. When a monster is special summoned from your grave, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, so I'm going to banish two for the Chaos Ruler. The Assault Synchron. And the Doppel Warrior. To bring back Chaos Ruler. Chain Elf for Kit. Sure thing, buddy. So we're going to bring back this and we're going to trigger Doppel. Bop. Uh, we're we're going to Rhoda. Or Junk Synchron? The thing is, I'm sure we're messing all of this up horribly, but I don't think we can mess it up. I don't think we can mess this up. We have too many cards. It's impossible to overcook this. No shot. Uh, we could go Metal Marcher with the Doppel Warrior. Let's do that. Uh, we go Metal Marcher. Chain link one, Metal Marcher. Chain link two, Doppel. Marcher targets... Mar yeah, okay, anyways. We get this. We get this. This is two, and then we get the Assault Synchron. Wait, where's Chet? Why is there Chet? What did I do? Oh, I have no tuners. Oh, 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 oh. I thought the, I thought the, I thought the, uh, I thought this was a tuner. It's not a tuner. It is indeed not a tuner. In that case, I'm going to normal summon Junk Synchron first, I suppose. Although I kind of, the problem is if I normal Junk Synchron and they negate it, I have no more tuner access. If I go junk and they destroy it, I guess I could snow converter effect. Wait, what? If this card is sent, you can discard this card and one tuner. Oh! Okay, then I can... Then I can use that. Okay, then I will target my assault synchron with jet synchron. And then we go Converter Effect, Discard Jet Synchron. That adds a Synchron from deck to hand. Which is Assault Synchron, which I haven't special summoned yet this turn, right? So I can still do that. I did that turn one, but I didn't do it this turn yet. So... 
So special summon this minus seven hundred. You probably bounce this, honestly. Yeah. I I. Uh, kit effect. I will let resolve. I could called by this, but I don't know. Just in case there's hand traps, like Valor, at some point. Just normal assault. We normal junk synchron, but I think it's fine. And then we go pitch jet synchron for jet synchron. And then what does Celestial Double Star Shaman do? If this card is Synchro Summon, you can special summon up to four level two non-tuners from hand and or grave. Ayo! What do you mean four of them things? Boom! Level 2 non-tuners. Wait, I have almost none. I have Max C and Junk Con- I only have two. Because this is a tuner. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, my level 2 Synchro only summons back two monsters, dude. How? How? Okay, so we have one tuner. That is the Celestial Double Star Shaman. And we have no, we have no further access to any other tuners. This is so annoying. Uh, but we can make this. Oh, that summons back a tuner. Ooh. Cupid Pitch also does some shit. Uh, these two make a Cupid Pitch. We get two tokens. We make Cupid Pitch level six. Now we make this. Bro, we just link climb, but with synchros. Uh, effect, effect. You could call it synchro climbing. You could do that. And this brings back what? It's level two or lower tuner from the graveyard. So probably just Celestial Double Star Shaman or Axel Synchron. Or Assault. I mean... Uh, is does it matter? Is there a difference? Just like that. We're running out of tuners. Is the is the annoying thing? Converter grabs... Wait, what? If this card is sent to the graveyard as Synchro, you can target a tuner in your grave special summon. Okay, Pog. Uh, okay, wait. So, effect, catch eye, remove, reduce this by two. Special this. This, this, this. Makes uh, Baron de Fleur affect target any tuner in the grave. That's twelve. No, catch I uh, catch catch Eve reduces by level two by two levels. So we can go special summon a tuner. 
We special summon a tuner. We also haven't brought back Stardust Worm or whatever it's called. Let's bring back Cupid Pitch. Or Stardust Synchron, doesn't matter. Then... We could special summon this. Uh, oh, this gets banished. Oh, this gets banished, right. That, uh, uh, okay, this gets banished. That's a little annoying. I mean, but... Uh, banish it when it leaves the field. Trishula. Effect Trishula. This. 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 Effect this. We got there! <laughs> I'm sure we could have done this a lot differently. Don't say clean. <laughs> okay, when you say clean, I feel like you don't mean that. <laughs> I feel like you didn't mean that when you said clean. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> that was not clean. It was fun. You might even call it cool, but that was not clean. <laughs> that was everything but clean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, chat. What's the verdict on OCG? What's the verdict on OCG? Or do we do one more? Do we do one more? <laughs> because one more one more people please okay one more all right one more one more it is <laughs> it's hilarious I, it is kind of funny all right waver was first let's go waver Please do not, please do not play Ritual Beast. I swear to God, if you Ritual Combo Beast right now, if you Ritual Beast Combo me right now. 60 cards. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have no hand trap. Oh, God. It's 60 cards. Why did I agree? Why did I agree to one more? Why did I accept waiver? Oh, God. Ah, oh, one more, they said. One more, Mudora Kelbeck in 60 cards. Wait, it's not tier, we are fine? Do you have any idea what you just said? Do you realize that if, if he has any level 4 monster, we probably have no chance at winning? What's that playlist? It's my playlist. Exclamation mark playlist uh, for the link. Okay, wait, we're, what's, what, what now? <laughs> like, <laughs> what now? <laughs> what's happening?
Are we lagging? Are we breaking? Have we, have we, are we done? It seems I have bricked. <laughs> God damn it, Waver. Ah, uh, now my now my mouse died, dude. Oh god damn it, dude. I have to get wait, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are back. Wait, did I break two? Surely not. What does mathematician send? What what is even the idea of mathematician? What's the idea of mathematician? What do I send? Math send jet. Oh, okay. Math effect. But uh, what if they use Modora on my jet synchron chat? No narcs. No narcs. No narcs. I mean, we can chain snow, bring it out, and then special start a synchron, I guess. We have to banish a card from our hand. But it does kind of work. Snow, jet, baldrake. Okay. Effect, snow, banish, 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 banish. And I guess I'm just going to banish the second start a synchron. Okay. Special snow. Effect start a synchron. Wait. Wait. Can't I go start a synchron, special this, then summon catch eye to make it level two? No. Okay. Oh my god. Why didn't you keep Ash? Why didn't you keep Ash for the... Oh, I guess you don't really have to play around. You can't really play around catch Eve number two, to be fair. To be fair. Speeder F! Yeah. Okay, what now? I've never I've never gotten this far. I've never gotten this far. What do I do? Uh I get like What does it even do? <laughs> Special summon as many synchron tuners with different levels. Okay. Uh assault synchron. Junk synchron. Start a synchron. Do I have a level one? I don't. Because I drew jet synchron. Okay. Uh, and now what? Assault is a tuner, yes. 
Now we do what we call synchro climbing. Uh, okay. I'm gonna start with a with a good old chaos ruler. Old faithful, chaos ruler F. We hit dot scaper. We are the best <laughs> and and assault synchron. We are what you what what's commonly classified as the very best, and it's not even close. And now I will make Hyper Liberian because I want to experience the feeling of summoning Hyper Liberian. I really want to. It's important to me right now. Hold up. Uh, special summon Baron de Fleur. Liberian draw. Poggers. Uh, special Assault Synchron takes 700. Not this potter? Oh, don't worry. We get this potter as well. Don't worry. How does this work in the grave? If a face-up dragon synchro monster you control is tributed or banished, banish this card from the grave, target one of those monsters. Okay, so we bring back Chaos Ruler, synchro it off, and then we get it back. Noted. Uh, banish. I'm a banish a light and a dark. For Chaos Ruler. Then this and this makes this pata trigger. Trigger. Bring back Chaos Ruler. Draw a card. This potter summons back a tuner. What what level do we want? What level do we want? We we don't want four because we don't play a level six tune the, the synchro. There's no level six synchro. Uh we could go Metal Marcher. Yeah. Let's do Metal Marcher. Bring back a tuner from the grave in defense position. Why do I have to suffer? Because I had to suffer. Oh! Cupid pitch increased by the tuner. Okay, we have to say goodbye to Liberian. Say goodbye to Liberian chat. Mm. <laughs> Special summon a level two or lower tuner. Uh, I have no... I, I bring this back. I don't... I have no idea what I'm doing. Chaos Angel. I'm just summoning as many as I can. Not that it matters. <laughs> Special Sum Druid's Worm! Need a light for Angel? Do we? One tuner plus non-light? No, I don't. Uh, ba -ba. Hmm. <laughs> Shooting riser. What do I send? A level three, so it becomes level four. Yes. Bring back snow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> uh, 
three, four, five, six, seven. We keep the Chaos Ruler for follow up. Just in case. You never know. <laughs> Battle phase! Yeah! <laughs> Going fast makes me feel alive. <laughs> God damn, dude. The OCG really is wild. The OCG really is wild. God damn. <laughs> okay all right <laughs> dead yeah indeed easy clap skill issue skill issue <laughs> this potter is a really good card this potter is a really good card all right chat what's the verdict what's the verdict on the ocg metagame how do we like it how does that feel? Or do we feel do we feel bad about the TCG now or do we feel good about the TCG now because at least it's better than the OCG? What's the freaking what's the verdict? <laughs> I'm ill. <laughs> the thing is I'll say a few things. It was fun. It was fun, but you know why it was fun? Because, like, because we don't play that all the time, right? I think it was fun because it was different for once, right? But I feel like if I, if I had to play this all the time, if I had to play this all the time, I wouldn't enjoy it as much. I, I do think, honestly, that um, some of the archetypes that they have right now... Yeah, because we're not taking it seriously, basically, right? Uh, I will say, I think that the most fun I had was not because it was the OCG in terms of, like, the ban list. It's just that there's a couple of cards that they have that I find really exciting to play with. Like, for example... Uh, Assault Synchron is one of those cards. Assault Synchron, in multiple different contexts, like in Sprite with Bestials or whatever, like this card is amazing. This card is amazing. This card is also awesome. This Potter is also an awesome card. Um, you could argue Chaos Ruler is awesome, but like I honestly think it's better that it's banned. Like I think I think if like if you're complaining about cards like Block Dragon and whatnot, I think Chaos Ruler should also be. I I I think as 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 awesome of a card it is, I think it's good that it's banned. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of fun cards in 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 OCG right now. Like I think Assault Synchron is hella based. I think this Potter is really ba is really really cool. Uh, I also think this thing is a really cool card. Now that we we also have that in the TCG now, I'm looking forward to using that. Um, I honestly think it's a matter of... The only reason why the OCG isn't, like, really, really awesome is, like, this card kind of ruins it. Like, Maxi kind of ruins it. And I think that the... The one deck that's not really cool is, like, anything with Block Dragon, Ad Emancipator, Super Heavy Samurai. That stuff, I feel like, that kind of exceeds my limit of what I think is, uh, is cool. You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like, uh, without Block Dragon, Max C, and, uh, and Super Heavy Samurais, it'd be super, super cool. Honestly. Like, Super Heavy Samurai, Block Dragon, Max C, take those three away, and hella basted. Hella based. Even if Chaos Ruler stays, honestly. The 60 card Block Dragon deck is considered the most toxic deck in the OCG. Yeah, I mean, I don't consider the the I I I don't consider tier limits to be toxic, honestly. I don't consider tier limits to be toxic. I just think tier limits are boring at this point in time. That's my issue with tier limits. I don't think tier limits are a problem. 
in the OCG. It's not it's not toxic or anything. It's just it's just old. You know what I mean? Like I I just feel like tier limits has been around for too long. And I think a deck can be a deck can be super healthy, but at the end of the day, if it's there for too long, people get tired of it, even if it's fair. Even if the deck is fine, people get tired of it. Right? And I think that's that's in a way why I feel that way about tier limits. Like I'm happy that it's gone in the TCG, not because I thought it was too too strong. It's just because I I, I it's been too it's been too long, right? Um Yeah. What do you think about this deck in the TCG? Does it have potential? Which deck? Adamancipator? Nah. Without Block Dragon? I don't think so. But yeah. Anyways, that was the plan for today. That was the plan for today. I had fun. I hope you had fun too. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, if you did, make sure you follow the stream to uh, follow the channel for um, to get notifications when I go live again. I stream uh, four to five days every week. So... Uh, if you don't want to miss the next one, uh, make sure to hit that follow button. Um, once again, thank you so much for all the subs that we got today. A lot of support today. I really appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed the stream. That is it. I'm going to send you guys over to, I think, Farfa's Life. I'll send you over there. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, peace out. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time, and bye-bye. Uh,